All right, everybody, it is that time of the evening. Thanks for joining us for our 1-3 No Limit Average Joe Poker Show, $500 max buy and I'm Dominic. I'm with the Ultimate Victory Cigar at Poker, Vic G. Thanks for tuning in tonight. And, Vic, exciting time. We've got a great show uh, coming up right now. we got a 10K guarantee going outside every Saturday. We also are on just right around the corner, our 100K guarantee prize pool tournament. So a lot going on in, in at the Reserve Poker Club this week. But, like I said, the main focus right now here. On Saturday night, our average Joe Poker show, and what a lineup! Yes, and it is a great lineup. Uh, we we've just uh, continued to, uh, not you and I, but the players coming in to play this game have just continued to knock it out of the park uh, night after night after night. We do Tuesday night, Thursday night, Saturday night on a regular basis, and the action has just been uh, fabulous. Uh, I don't know other any other word uh, to describe it. And we are so glad that you're going to join us here tonight. You're going to see uh, very familiar faces. We've got a brand new face, and we've got another face that hasn't been here in a few months. And so uh, we're going to see some uh, betting action and some cards really mix it up here tonight. And as you mentioned, we did our $10,000 prize pool guarantee today. It started at 3, and we just had a great turnout. Uh, seven tables in there, and they're still going strong. I think they're just about to the dinner break, which is uh, be the end of uh, late reg. But uh, we'll be bringing you reports of that as well. And here we are, first hand of the night. By the way, look at the St. Patty's gear we got going on right now. Yes. I love it. And happy St. Patrick's Day Eve to everyone out there. Also, be responsible tomorrow while you're having fun, yeah. especially in this day and age. Right. Ubers are available, and they're very easy. They're very easy. Yeah. Yes. And so. if you don't have it on your phone, I'm sure your friend has one. Yeah, so. so, yeah, definitely take that into account. But, yeah, Selection Sunday tomorrow, too, for – basketball fans so a lot going on right now poker march madness st patrick's day 100k guarantee right around the corner it's it's all fun here in the uh northern ohio southern michigan area and to the first hand here uh we go it looks like craig by the way back and that's who we were talking about who we haven't seen in a little bit we've seen craig on here multiple times very good player uh good instincts uh mixes it up from time to time page by the way you might not recognize him vic Shave the beard quite yeah. some. I even told Paige I didn't even recognize you. And I was standing in the room for 10 minutes. Must, take, must be taking Rose to the Sizzler. We got a Jack, King, Queen, Flop, 6 and 9 on the turn and river. Both players with the same hand. Paige and the general. Brian Patton showing some respect here for Paige. Laying down the identical hand, and that's our first hand of the night so far. We will be uh, ten-handed tonight. We do have a couple of players that are running a little bit late. If they're coming through downtown Toledo, uh, they're fighting some traffic because the festivities for St. Patrick's Day has already begun down there, and uh, there's a lot of also a lot of energy in this room around uh, this game here tonight. Yeah, between MGM Bob, General Patton, yeah. well, Mr. Enright, he brought in chips 20, are going to be flying hand. tonight. And he made it 400. Yeah. Now, if like, it, that was the last hand of the night. If it had been earlier on, I we got Buddha's dad on the chat board, Marty, who is here in person with Diane. They brought their. Uh, RV. That's awesome. Yeah. And also, they came bearing gifts, and we want to do a shout out to uh, Marty and Diane. Very generous. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you, Marty, by the way. We appreciate that so much. We got Wayne in the house, and Jason, Anthony Halt says he's uh, rooting for the general tonight. By the way, Craig raised it up to 65 now going around the table, and I saw Marty, and she said, hey, brown water, and I thought it was about her last care package of brown water, and I was like, oh, yeah, thanks. You know, we, we, we've enjoyed that. All of a sudden, there's another care package in here of brown water, so she's celebrating the St. Patty's Day and sharing is caring, and she's doing a lot of sharing. So As we you. will. Yes. Yeah. 65 to go. Looks like we have four players now going to the flop pick. And a little variety pack here, you know, a couple of aces, 9-7 suited, king-10 of hearts. And our good buddy, most excellent dealer, Nick, is opening things up for us tonight in the box, and he brings us that flop. Well, MGM Bob, really the only player right now, Vic, that has to be happy with what he sees. King-8-3, couple of spades. MGM Bob firmly in the lead. Now Check. that queen hits Craig, though. 
checking oh. around a free card. Now, what do you think that might do with MGM Bob checking the flop with the flush draw out there? Now, you know, Craig hits his queen, has an ace to go along with it, and he's coming in. Oh, he folds. All right. I thought I heard call, but no. He folds. I'm going to see it. I got to see it now. I got to see it now. See, I knew you didn't really want to see it that bad. You know, I don't you think that was good. You think that was good? Nice kick. It's already begun. The verbal exchanges have already begun between uh, MGM Bob and Buddha, and there in seat one is our new player, Adam. Adam coming to us from uh, the Detroit area, and uh, we'll get with uh, his information and his shout outs as we do as soon as he wins a hand. Finally, he got it. Welcome, Adam. In the meantime, MGM Bob takes down that, and he wants to sue, do another shout out to his buddy John down in Florida. I saw too much hate there, Buddha. Way too much hate. He gets a big kick out of beating you because you beat him so much. So what? It don't matter. Win one and enjoy it. New year here. You know, keep some coming back. Yeah. You got a green thing. I love Sako. He's a nice guy. Thank you, Bob. You should be nicer to him. Very nice. Guppy now. Looks like he bumps it up to 10 with pocket sixes. The general coming along with the 3-6 Mafia suited. Buddha in position with King 10. Just saw his good buddy MGM Bob win the hand with King 10. So he's going to bump this up and make it 60. Bad call announced. We have a lot of fun. Okay. Is Buddha three and better up to 60? You know, you still, you need to get that fun. And Mr. Bob Enright coming in with what we call here in Toledo, Ohio, the moose. And a bit of a super moose when it's suited. Anything with the word super next to it gives it extra value. Moose's nephew is uh, in the house. He's playing in the tournament tonight. And we got a five jack seven board oh boy. rainbow flop. Craig hit two pair here. Pot's 304, and he's going to go ahead and push in. Yeah, he wants a caller. He just hope he doesn't want multiple callers. I think it was big enough to justify it, especially with bottom two. I was okay playing for 10. Yeah, I built that pot for you. I did all the heavy lifting right around me. Yeah. Nice hand, Craig. He's going to profit 244 right now. Just a hey, nice half of a stack. So Craig uh, was uh, excited to be back with us tonight and also very proud of this hat and shirt that he's wearing for oh, yeah. St. Patrick's Day. He said on the way out of the house, his wife said, oh, you're not going to wear that. And so his wife, Nicole, shout out to Nicole. Um, Hello, Nicole. I said, uh, so can I say I told you so? And he said, yeah, but that you didn't hear that from me. Oh, you, now you're throwing them underneath the bus, You Vic. You can say that it's from you, that I told you so, that I would wear the hat. Vic, you just did something that's like in the man code law you don't do. <laughs> you don't throw them underneath the bus with the wife watching? <laughs> oh, sorry to Craig later on when he sees this. I, you know, I'll talk to Vic after the episode. Nicole, if you're out there, thank you so much. Yeah, I got to actually see Craig for a little bit. We caught up for about five, ten minutes before the show started. Always, uh, always just a really nice guy. Talking about his passions of golf. His son just picked it up, so he's really happy about that. Yeah, Anthony, uh, Josh is in the uh, main room playing the tournament, and Josh actually put his uh, name on the list for this uh, live stream in case uh, anybody uh, decides to... If they get felt and, don't, and decide not to come back. In the meantime, we got three players to this flop. 10 for Jack, couple of hearts. And just mid pair for Buddha. That's about it right now, Vic. Casual 25. Oh, yeah, the week before it was. How can I get my money back tonight? That's why we made them let us. We are 10, uh, 10 handed tonight. We do just have a couple people running late. Okay. We are the reserve here in Toledo, Ohio. This is our staple Saturday night. 1-3, no limit hold'em cash game, $500 buy-in. And please take note with the uh, $100,000 prize pool guarantee tournament starting on Thursday with uh, two day ones 
each on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We will not be live streaming our regular Thursday night cash game nor our regular Saturday night cash game, but keep uh, stay posted because uh, it, just in case we might be doing a feature table for those uh, day ones either on Thursday night or Saturday night or Friday night. Really, uh, it, as we've mentioned before, just kind of depends on the situation. On whether we do it. <laughs> yeah, the supply and demand of <laughs> There you go. That's the word I was looking for. how busy we are. Also, and to echo off what the ultimate victory cigar of poker is saying right now, that's why it's so critical to hit that bell next to the subscribe button and get those alerts. And it looks like we got three-handed poker going on right now. We had a three-bet from Mr. Enright up to 35. And he's in great shape right now for, you know, going three ways to a flop pick, only two overs. Basically getting a good price to go against the nemesis almost. And right here we got seven, seven, six, couple of clubs, tens, firmly in the lead. 109 in the middle. He's going to bet just to do it to you, about right. right around third of the like pot. It. You're a real nice guy. And that's going to be enough to All take it down. Hey, he's the only, do with hey, he's the only one that was uh, sticking up for me the other night. They were all, remember? What's that? You were the only one on my side the other right. night. Right. Yeah. I've felt your pain before. Oh, man. Brutal. And uh, there's the main room, as we mentioned. This is the uh, $10,000 prize pool guarantee Saturday. We started this uh, at 3 o'clock today. We uh, got the no word out as much as we could to let people know, and I, we had a really good turnout. They are past the uh, dinner break, so no more late reg. I have to give a quick shout-out. Rose, you can't see her. She's oh, yeah. at the top table right behind Patrick. Yeah. I told her I would give her a definite shout because she brought in cupcakes. Yes. And, and St. Patty's Day cookies for the whole staff. Yeah. She's on the other side of Patrick on the top right. You can't really – you can only see the top of her head right now. But table 12. Shout-out to Rose. Yeah. Rose, we love you. Thank you for the goodies. Yes. And Marty there right in seat one at the same table. Yeah, you can see Marty just fine right there. And Diane in seat two at table 11. Can't see her behind the graphic. But a lot of familiar faces there as well as some new ones here for tonight's tournament. Yeah, thanks again for the brown water, Marty, especially for St. Patty's Day. Appreciate you. Sean, glad to thank you on the message board saying you had a great time uh, in the tournament. Always a pleasure. And by the way, we have a 10 ace deuce board. Vic, a couple of hearts. Both players hit. Ammo with top pair, Buddha with mid pair, and Buddha's going to see where he's at now. Leading into the new gentleman at the table. Yes. $50. Ooh, and I like this. The pushback on the veteran. And he's going the value town right now, making it 125, fluffing up the pot. 334 in the middle now, Vic. And there's a nine that doesn't do anything for anybody. A check, check, and a free card. And a rock, a brick, a stone, a non-card, down to showdown, and uh, ammo, a.k.a. Adam. And I have to confess that when I saw the lineup on uh, Facebook today and it said Adam, I thought it was going to be our Adam. And oh, then, yeah, the and professor. Then, uh, yeah, and then uh, Jim introduced me and uh, got to talking to Adam a little bit. He's doing a shout-out to his mom and dad. His dad has played a lot of uh, poker with uh, Sacco. Oh, boy. And so uh, he told his mom and dad, he says, uh, I'm going to play on that someday. And sure enough, here he is. And uh, also a shout-out to his aunt, Sandy. Can we get an interview with his dad on his thoughts of oh, playing yeah. poker with Sacco? Bob, 40. Sacco is a great character at the table. Yeah, like a good player, the but for the live stream arm. purposes, I love Sacco at the table. <laughs> A lot more than just seeing him in the room. <laughs> yeah, I think I think he's gold for the live stream. Absolutely. Watch him well. He might really put something and, in there. And Sako has perfected the art of the passive aggressive troll sometimes. <laughs> and and I appreciate that. Yeah. And that's exactly what uh, MGM Bob was uh, mentioning before. Dare I say, whining about. Well, oh, it, it's, it's a love-hate relationship. They love each other, but, you know, when they play cards, sometimes, you know, 
Emotions yeah, get mixed. Now, a $10 straddle and a re-straddle here from uh, Buddha. That's what I mean. Nothing crazy. And now just a, a bump. Here it is. Ammo. Yeah. Ammo's not going to mess around here with pocket jacks. Ammo is firing on all cylinders right now. 150 to go. Bob. He's feeling a little froggy. Suited 10-3. So early on here in this action, and we've already got a very interesting hand and a pot of brewing with 3.34 in here. Nick at the helm bringing us this flop between these two players. Oh, boy, I thought that was 10-3. <laughs> and this could be a troubled hand for Enright as he flops top pair. Ammo and a convincing lead. Oh, oh boy, and honest. a call here. 1K in the middle already tonight. And we did see uh, Enright the other night and uh, actually the time before pulling out some magic in these situations. Oh, oh, oh my three goodness. On the turn and a six, and wow. Ammo got Enrighted early on. Oh, man, oh, man. That one hurts the soul. Just as Aunt Sandy came on to watch, and she's got to see uh, ammo. I mean, he got N right here. He's the eighty percent favorite to win that hand. Yeah, Brian Bishop, that is brutal. Yeah, you run that four, five times, he's winning four out of five of them. Say again, uh, Tyler. Yep. Oh, man. So we just got word that Justin Fields just got traded for a six-round pick to the Steelers, and uh, my partner it might have to step outside and smoke a square. Yep, that's what he's doing. I have a very passionate Bears fan, and I got to admit, from not being a Bears fan, a six-round pick is like giving it away. That is, um, we all have to be there for people. Uh, Vic with NFL is like me with Michigan football, and uh, he will be stepping away for about two minutes. Vic's going to be back. He needs a process. Yeah. That's for a six-round pick, well, that yeah. is uh, inexcusable. I think you're no. Now. No. I'd rather hold on to him for a year and see if the trade value goes up. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I don't wow. like some other so people. Steelers just loading up yeah. Russell Wilson right. and sure. Justin They're Fields for practically for nothing. <laughs> yep, he's uh, he's going to the front area. Brian looks over at me like that 35. <laughs> Sometimes you got to be there for your partner. Yes, right. So, yeah, I'll be calling the action for, with you guys for the next three minutes as uh, Vic and his bear fanism process, processes them giving away the uh, a top ten overall pick for a six-round pick. Is that a, is that a call? 35. Three. He's 32 more about under a rookie contract oh, right now yes, for another year. Uh, no, just green. And we got to raise up to 35 from MGM Bob. With ace queen, page, king queen suited, pocket eights for Craig. And right has suited cards, so he's fine with it. It just looks bad on the screen. Okay. And yeah, Buddha's priced in now. And this pot builder has worked as five players going to the flop, 175 in the middle. You already had three in there, didn't you? Yeah. You're committed. It's no 10-3, but he's good. Gary W. in the house from Columbus. Gary, hope you're doing well. Part of the uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. And we got a Jack King 4 rainbow board. Paige hitting top pair. Has the best of it right now. No, sir. Will you give me a little help? Yep, and Page takes it down. Nice Good hand, Page. 
No, I do. I, I respect this guy. I played with him once already. And I know oh, Rose and Paige have a nice exactly poker community in their hometown. Right, guys, I want to give a shout out to those guys and say, hey, welcome to come here. Check out the club. Paige racking up the chips. Nice early hand there. We got an action table. Also, if you're just tuning in, smash that thumbs up, that like button if you're new to the live stream. That helps us a lot. It puts us in the algorithm where we get a, some new traffic during the show. That's how we grow. We always try to get 100 per show. So just started. See, uh, we're almost up to 20 already. So thank you very much for those who just tuned in and did that automatically. We have a great, loyal base of viewers in our poker community here. We have live streams every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night. I give it to him. He's got just the right amount of aggression. I would give it to him. Paige is going to let that queen nine go. Guppy now with the suited 5 4 of clubs is feeling a little frisky. 35 total. King queen. 35 to go. The general coming in. Shout out to mom for tuning in. Thank you for the nice message on the message board, mom. Hope you're doing well tonight. And we have three players now to the flop. On a three queen three board. Let's see if Guppy, who's the initial better. Yeah, he's going to play pretend, and it might work. Both players are just ace high. That's 75 and 5 high. Takes it down. Nice play, Guppy. Way to use his table image. He really hasn't played a hand yet. And he definitely hasn't been the aggressor yet, so he used it to his advantage. Well done, sir. Adam? Yeah. Dom's looking at you. Straddle. Time. You know, you know Dom's sign language? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I understand. It didn't look like the official international's form of sign language. Looked like his own brand. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go. Over the end right with Queen Deuce. Buddha now 9-7. Not a whole lot going on here with the hands. Hang on one second. Well, take a deep We've got a 10 king jack board, couple of hearts. 20. MGM Bob, sensing a little weakness, is going to bet 20. Both players with the straight, chop it up. <coughs> chop, chop it. I don't know which is worse. <laughs> Did you hear him grunt when he called? Yeah. Like, when can I get to pull the muscle? Uh, <laughs> we need uh, right, right, Turn on the button. Good river, eh? Right? Can I say yes? You got red over. Good river. river. No, river. You're like, that, that river <laughs> saved you because I was going to bet you off of that. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yes, I was betting. I'm betting. This I'm shit was going all in. in. Well, if it didn't, that card didn't come off. There you go. Thank you. Which one do I see? Yeah, there you go. Put me I'm going to have to Yes, sir. All right, that on the bar. That's great. Oh, oh, you might have got re-raised. Maybe. I just threw you the black. Hold yeah, on. Hold on. Hold here. Hold Welcome back, sir. Thank you. Yeah, oh. MGM Bob getting out of the way. Guppy now with ace nine. Throws it away. A little surprise there. And just ten dollars. Everyone's being polite right now. Letting them live, Frank. Letting them live. Three players going to the flop, and we have a ten-five-seven board. Check. 
and right. Flopping the best of it with mid pair. That's 15. Call from Buddha. A deuce of hearts on a turn that does give Buddha now a king high flush draw. And he shows the king of hearts. Here it is. Nice bet. The power of the Buddha. All right, folks, I'm back. How do you feel? Uh, Shik, uh, not. I haven't been this mad since they took Mitch Trebinsky in the uh, draft. First pick. So I went outside, like you said, and... Uh, you just collected yourself, right? Collected myself. I went storming through the main room and got Rose all worried that something really was wrong. <laughs> it is just football, though. <laughs> they said it could potentially turn into a fourth-round pick, so I'm assuming if that's if he gets a starting gig over Russell Wilson. <sighs> oh, welcome Caleb Williams. I don't want to hear those words. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And look at this. Look at MGM Bob. Pocket Kings in the small blind. Check, check, check it. And we got an ace, four, six, rainbow board. And now two pair for Buddha. 30. 30. The free card bit him. Oh. Bit him hard, too. Queen of Diamonds. I don't be surprised if he slows. Oh, he's going to keep better than Buddha? Little surprise knowing their history. Two pairs of gold. Oh, he says it. He calls it. He calls it out. Wow. You see that ace out there, Bob? The kings are no good. You see how scared I was? Yeah. Three, four. I can't play aces or something. What is it? It was suited. I have to point that out. Alright, no straddle. Three to go. You're lucky I didn't raise your ass. Trump would have got paid. That's a good point. <laughs> he probably Buddha probably would have got paid on that. Very good point. The general now. Ace raised king? to thirty five. Ace Jack, King. Jack ten suited and diamonds too for Buddha. Some nice playable hands. MGM. Did not put his cards in. Those pocket kings were not really there. That was just a carryover. Yeah, if you're new to the show, if a player doesn't put their cards in the box by a certain time, their previous hand will be shown. We get that once in a while. It's out of our control. A little C bet there from the general. He takes it down. Both players whiffed on the flop, but ace high. Definitely still in the lead in that situation. <coughs> Mixing it up, just limping in with King Queen. Yeah. We've seen him raise with less, and now ammo is going to bump it up to twenty dollars with the suited Ace Jack of Clubs. Right, and a quick call, heads up action, forty-four in the middle, and a deuce, Check. five, ten board, all spades, and right, picking right. up even more outs. And ammo just gets out of the way. Base high. Semi bluff for Enright. 
they all add up in the end. And there's Adam's dad. Adam wanted to do a shout out to his mom and dad and of course to his aunt Sandy. Told me about how uh, his dad has played uh, quite a bit of poker with uh, Sacco. Oh. Sacco legend keeps growing. I said earlier I wanted to uh, get an interview with his the dad. I like to hear more about his opinions. I don't think so. Oh, Sacco yeah, is one, one of the one biggest one the characters we've ever had on here. That's all I want. <laughs> well, what makes you think his shit's dead money? 125, yeah. yellow. <laughs> yeah. Good question. I don't hear much coming out of that two seat. Right no, no. <laughs> 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 Oh, you are so lucky. I got nothing. Oh. Get him, Adam. There. Gee. Oh, Bob, there. Ace high, Bob? Yeah, he's high, baby. I probably threw the one. Hey, that's the I lost fucking 2,000 with the other you, night. You would have won a lot more if you'd have straddled. Yeah, you would have. Yeah, know? he would have. $10 straddle. Oh, yeah, yeah. You guys. $10 ah, straddle they, and play. Ace King's always good after the clock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 20. That's 20. <laughs> yeah, it is. Hang on. Can I straddle still? <coughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh, it's too late. Oh. Got Adam's dad in here. <laughs> Uncle. <laughs> Love seeing it. Next time. 20. Yeah, that was my nemesis saying the other night, Ace King. I could not hit it. So much Love seeing the family on the message board supporting. Twenty dollars to go now. Over the ammo. Fuck, if you didn't raise, I was gonna. I ain't got cards. All right, we got sixty-five total. Sixty-five total with seven six of diamonds. I like this. Switching it up, expanding his range. Sixty-five. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like that's just like a double straddle, right? Yep. Dominoes. 65? Yep. Oh, is that right? He had 10 3 suited first. Now the Doyle suited? I wanted to. I wanted the action. I wanted a little juicy. Right and dirty. Four players going to the flop here. And we have a 3 3 jack board. Everyone whiffs on this one. Let's see if ammo keeps it up with the 7 high. 100. Casual 100 chip. And Ammo's taking that down. He's going to profit 271. That has to feel good, especially he got his money in good earlier on. Jacks versus just top pair. And a dirty two pair hit on the turn. So he's playing great in a different situation. He'd be, if the poker gods were doing what they're supposed to do, as they say, with the percentages, he'd be up over 1,000 now, but he just got half of that back. Get in here. Climbing up the ladder. Good, let's go, baby. Seat open. I heard Relax, man. Concrete Dave in the house. Thanks, Concrete Dave. Three-handed going to the flop here. And right with ace queen. Doesn't get a piece of this. Buddha's got a gut shot here. So he's going to do a feeler bet here. Put out 25 back over to Craig with his great uh, St. Patty's Day regalia on. And now a king on the turn. Two clubs, two spades. And a check from Enright and a check from Buddha. To the river. How many? Brother 229. He's getting ready to come out. He's off for 55. He's got a good job, man. He's off. I'm afraid you got space. One of the guys that keeps the line running. I don't know. It's kind of. 
But no, no right. No, exactly. No right. No right. No right. But he's, he's got a team where if things are good. All right, picking up another pop. Yeah. Nice bet there from Enright. Will he stay consistent? In his play? Hey, Bob, how's that arthritis? Situations like that, it pays off. Enright, go ahead. Straddle one time, Enright. Start it off. Go ahead, I can't. Enright. Why? Because they can't double straddle when it's on a button. Well, he's not double straddling. All right, I straddle. He's not double straddling anyway. You know what he's doing. I talked to him about it. I asked him about it. He's like, you Page is going to call with Ace Jack no, coming in the hand. Just once in a while for 10, right? With a good looking beard like that? He got it cleaned up. Enright's coming in with a couple of diamonds. King six on the button. Quick fold from Buddha. And here comes Adam, a.k.a. Ammo. And we're going to go five handed here to this flop. Oh, no. Take that back. There was uh, MGM Bob's option, and he's going to raise it up. Here comes Page with the ace jack. Game's loosening up a little bit. Of sure like is, because the general's coming in with 6-4, and so does Enright, and so does Adam. So we're gonna, we are going to go five-handed to this flop. 176 in there already, Dominic. Four, nine, six, rainbow board. Oh, boy. A couple players hit their six. This is going to get messy. Top pair. Relaxing, right? It's over here, way over here. You're already reaching for chips. Is that me? I'm going to check. All right, here it is. 50 to go. Almost got the best of this with the uh, top pair and a jack kicker. Yeah, he's so he's going to raise it up. He's on a mission to get his chips back. He really is. And we saw this with Buddha. The same when Buddha let out for 50, he made it 125. Now the general with two pair. You know, I didn't even notice that, Vic, when we were seeing the hands that the general flopped two pair. I thought it was just a pair of sixes. It snuck by me right there. So, man. Page gets out of the way, and now we're three-handed. And a five of diamonds, giving Enright now a diamond draw. And he's basically going to try to take it down now. He's got 256. The alarms have to be going off for ammo when he sees this. Got the information he needed, though. Where's the bomb pop up? And there's a wood pole. 256? Yep. Well, he can't hear. You know, you hear how loud he is, how much it is. Yeah. Oh. Good. All right, roll him up and for he's the camera. Watch him twice. We go twice. Put I got twice. two pair. Put him up on the camera pair. for the camera. Let's see what we got. Chasing diamonds down here. All right, looks like they're going to run it twice. Yeah, and, and, right. and a pair. And a straight 1,100 right. in the middle. This is a big well, river card, Vic. It really is. And Enright's got 11 outs here. Just one time, right? Or twice? Twice. 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 They're going to run twice. Huh? Twice. There's the symbol. Nope. Nope. No straight. So first one goes the general. And it looks like he holds twice. General scoops it. 1100. Wow. Going Look at general. all the outs there that Bob Enright had. The fade was real. Nice hand, general. And the last time General was on, he had a really good night. The momentum went his way, and it kept coming for most of the night. So here is a big um, momentum swing for Brian, the General Patton. Nice hand, Brian. Thank you. All right, 
Buddha had taken down a hand. We forgot to uh, do his shout-outs. And, of course, as usual, the gentleman that he is, a shout-out to his wife. And he wanted in particularly to say, sorry, I've been playing so much poker. <laughs> to which everybody at the table said, please say thank you to Buddha's wife for letting him play so much poker. I think... Any man that's involved in a relationship that loves the game has to say those words uh, multiple times throughout the month. we got to keep track of how many times Buddha gets the nemesis here on this show because uh, he's playing it again. He's calling the uh, pre-flop raise of 30 from Craig. Craig definitely mixing it up with the 6-5 of hearts. Raised it up to 40. Guppy, another pocket pair here. Seems like he'd be due for his pocket pair to hit. We'll see if it happens this time. Four-handed, and here comes the flop. And Buddha just really smacks this one hard. The general has ace-nine. He's got top pair with the nine kicker. And check all the way around to Buddha with a royal flush draw. And he bets it. And a quick call. That call had the snap of a snap call. Yeah. Oh boy. And there it is. That's what we call the nuts. A grin from the, from the general as if he kind of knows what he's up against here. We was trying to let him catch I'll up. Check. check. Ace high. I, I sense your weakness. Do you? Yeah. Okay, we'll take advantage of it. Like 150. He's got something. Do you have something? Yeah. Oh, and I'll show you my nuts. <laughs> no pun intended. You yeah, sure? <laughs> That's kind of scary. I don't know. That might be win, win or lose. <coughs> ah. too much shit out there for me to call. Yeah, you know what General Spider is. senses are kicking in. Yeah. It looks like he's going to make the fold. Sure nice fold, General. Yeah. Don't let Buddha yeah. threaten you with showing Thoughts. you the nuts. Happy St. Patty's Day, Colonel. Thanks so much. And uh, to answer uh, favorite hands. We all know uh, Dominic's favorite hand, Pocket Eights. Oh, yes, Pocket Eights, Concrete Dave is by far my favorite hand. Seems like I've hit more sets with that hand in my personal playing lifetime than any other pair. All right, down on the button. My favorite hand is to be in position and see uh, six people limp in, and then it really... Sometimes doesn't matter. I like to then punish the limpers to see where I'm at. And speaking of the eights, oh, my there goodness, it is. like Beetlejuice, you say it, and there it is. Pocket eights, pocket eights, pocket eights. By the way, Colonel, I'm glad that I've cured you of the nemesis. Good to hear. Well, not a great flop for eights there. No, and uh, the opposite. Queen's good. Ammo, a.k.a. Adam, got mom and dad and uh, Aunt Sandy He's got watching and as well as a number of other people. Yeah, I love seeing that. A lot of family watching, supporting them. That's what it's all about. Great to see. And if any family members, I said this once earlier, but if any family members are tuning in for the first time or if we have any new viewers out there, Please hit that subscribe button. We started this live stream just over a year ago, about a year and a half ago, from the ground up, and uh, we're growing uh, uh, basically poker club here, and we have shows on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Also, that bell next to it, it gives you notifications when we go on. And also, please hit that like button, that little thumbs up. That can actually help Adam, a.k.a. Ammo, or anyone that you're seeing right now get random traffic on YouTube. 
more people kind of say, oh, well, let's check this out. First, see it for the first time. If they like it. We always love adding to our poker community. Here's Speaking a three bet from MGM Bob up to 75 with Ace-10. Wow. And the general, as we talked about, momentum coming his way. Four bets now with Pocket I did. Kings. Did you see the three bet? I did. I saw it. <laughs> you know, you can't, you can't three bet when a guy's got kings. You just can't do it. Well, there it is. <laughs> it's not as smart as you do. Uh, often you see four bets. That one worked for the general, and he brings it in without any sweat. Hey, Jerry, thank you very much for the kind words. Thanks for joining us tonight. We are the reserve in Toledo, Ohio. 1-3, no limit hold'em cash game here. $500 buy-in. Yes, sir. Fun Saturday night brewing up. GM Bob hits the best of this with a nine and a jack kicker, top pair. Page gets out of the way with his ace king. Yeah, we can never hear him. They ought to have that. And like Buddha's going to see if he can uh, yeah, strike a little magic here. He needs an ace or a king to take the lead. And another nine now for Bob. Overkill. 75. Gives them the check Did mark. Did you see the nine on the turn? Yes. You got a nine? No, but you do. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, I didn't want to call it 75. Nine. Hello. Nine draft. Nice hand. Why are you calling me? You know I got a big hand. Here. I had two overs. Ten dollar straddle, twenty dollar restraddle. Actions on ammo. You save thirty bucks, huh? You save thirty. I didn't see it. I like it. Straddling's for donkeys anyway. You're better than that. Oh wow. There you go. And now Page picks up Queens, and he's going to raise. Fire. He's in position, makes it 100. Probably the most intimidating player at the table, because you know Page doesn't mess around with his table image. Right. If he makes it 125, I have to have at least jacks or better. I'm just saying, I agree. King, I'll probably even let go of Ace Queen in a heartbeat, not even think about it too much. I agree. When there's pros and cons, sometimes you don't get as much action with that table image, but at the same time, you also don't get chased down as much, so you don't get sucked out as much with that table image. So half empty, half full, depending on how you look at it. Carter asked a good question about uh, how many people we expect for the flight that's this Thursday, 11 a.m. Flight day 1A. For a $100,000 prize pool guarantee. It's about 10 tables, what do you think? I would say uh, I'll give them a range of between uh, 80 to uh, 130 players right in that area for our first flight. Somebody piss you off? Thursday morning is always a really good one to go to. I, I think a lot of players play in that one because it dictates what they do the rest of the week, especially if they want a double bag. So you should get a really nice turnout. On Thursday. And there's the room right now for the 10K. 
said he was on the list. And again, this started at uh, 3 p.m. today. Really good turnout, and it looks like the uh, prize pool has been uh, listed up there. If you look at the clock on the back wall there next to the great Scotty Wind mural. All right, $10 straddle. Really good. 5,200 first place. Oh, so we went way over the 10K guarantee if we got 5,200 up top. Yes. Tyler, if you can uh, radio uh, Marissa and just ask what the total was in the prize pool for us real quick, we would appreciate it. 14 players in three hours got knocked out. That can't be right. Well, we're doing the add-ups. Man, that's, that's juicy, Vic. A 10K guarantee? Yeah. 5,200 for first? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Back to this action here, four-handed. There's a range for you with $100 in the pot. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Three, ten, eight. Couple of spades and top pair for Buddha. And two players hitting mid pair, so multiple players get a piece of this one, Vic. Buddha's going to raise this up after a bet from Bob and a call from Bob. The definition of a min click. Shout out to Alan H. for just tuning in. Carter, good to hear. Love when the message board is popping. And, yeah, Bob's going nowhere with that men click. And, wow, there's the ace. Ace eight did just fold. So Buddha is still in the lead. Buddha's with this pair of tens still has the best. Four clubs. Nice profit there for Buddha, 165 bucks on that pot. Yeah, 250 in the middle. And we have confirmed that, uh, that to, again, we are on a 15-minute delay here, so what we see isn't necessarily the current, but we do have the two players coming in to fill those seats. We will be uh, ten-handed here on our Saturday night shortly. Take a moment, and there you just got a glimpse of Tyler, the chosen one. On a tear on the Friday tournaments first. That was a great week, job. Second place this week. Uh, and still being greedy. He wanted back to back. He was complaining. Tyler, give me give, give me what you have right now. Take that. First and second place of a field of what? Ten tables one week, twelve tables the other? Yeah. I'd say that's a pretty good run in my book. He is. He's running well. And to answer your question about the uh, tournament starting on Thursday, the uh, day 1A, Thursday morning, cool. at 11 a.m., the doors will open up at 10 a.m. Quarter? Yep. And uh, I always recommend folks oh. to come in here early if they can. For sure. And another showing from the uh, nemesis here for Craig, and it's suited. The max value plays the buy your ticket before the actual event, and then you can just walk into your seat. And look at that flop, Vic. We have a four deuce jack board, king jack with top pair, page with the ace high flush draw, and two overs. We got a big hand alert here. Yes. Should be like that hand Do you want to wear it? No. Looks good on you. Thanks, yeah. I'm not afraid to wear it. You can go fit that fit. Now we're going to go heads up to the turn. Craig in the lead. He's got a lot of brains in his head. That's why it's and now Page has a gut shot for a straight yeah, a as well outs. as his flush draw. So he's got 12 outs. Craig's going to bet here. And that's a pretty nice size bet of 110. He's going for max value right now. Interesting river card coming. And the five gives Page the straight. He's going to fire back at 100. And this is a tough spot for Craig because now you're wondering, is he just trying to bluff you with missed spades? But he doesn't take the bait. He nice does hole. not take the bait. Wow. Good lay down there from Craig sporting that uh, St. Patty's Day attire. Doing a shout out to his wife, Nicole. Wow, and Kiwi says she's been in the hospital for five days just... Hit the thumbs up and uh, please take care of all of Kiwi. We hope you're doing well. We also got Kiwi's hoodie in, correct? 
So hopefully we'll be getting that out to Kiwi, uh, being sent Kiwi in the next week or so. You can bet dark. You gonna straddle this one or what do you think? Your nemesis hoodie Kiwi that you uh, love. Mandatory straddle. What do you think? Quarter. That's a good rule. Quarter. Quarter. Hang on. Yeah, we're gonna have to straddle, huh? I call. Oh. Bob Shorter. Bob. Now he's calling a scratch here. All right, this has to be real bad in order for me to fold it. <laughs> I am not folding. All of with a green chip, too. It's All right, 25 right. bucks a piece, Vic. Five, five players now. Five players. And nice range of cards, cards, that's for sure. Yeah, 10, 4, 7, a couple of spades, and I see mid pair for the general. 35 total. Got shot yeah, for Enright. Continuation bet here from MGM Bob. Hey, hit bottom pair. Backdoor clubs. Okay. And the other Bob, Enright. He's got a gut shot here. Buddha gets out of the way. Adam sizing things up. And he's going to make the call. Three-handed. Here comes the turn. Oh, wow. Look at that. Hits the gut shot for Enright. Running pure. Enright doing what Enright does. Good shot. Check. So Bob Enright was off to a, a tough start early, but now he's starting to mount a comeback here. This is our 1-3 No Limit Hold'em regular Joe Poker Show. It's a $500 buy-in. It's a four-hour live stream. We'll be going till 10-15 tonight. That's a great answer. Great answer. Didn't didn't skip a beat either. My name is Craig. C R A I G W H I L B Y. My social security number is. Oh my bad. I already love Craig's energy. Yeah, love my mother. What a great answer. Where you come from? My mother. So now we got two Craigs in the house. That is priceless. Craig. Yeah. That was awesome. I cannot hold up. That's up there in the top five best answers I've heard on this live stream. Donovan, I really appreciate your comment there. And, uh, yeah, we hope to see you come in here soon. Make sure when you come in to uh, seek uh, Dom and I out so we can uh, get introduced. Absolutely, Donovan. to get some ammunition. Hey, if it was your turn, what would you do? Oh, I'm sorry. We're paying for time here, man. You gotta let man. me know, you know. <laughs> Just I drove 45 <laughs> minutes to get here. Man. Uh, You're waiting around on your ass. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, we're gonna...
Yeah. Yeah. Alright, what do you want to do? You want to put 15 and go? Yeah, no, just let him go for 15. Yeah, we can do that. Move some money. We'll get the game going. I got nothing. I need some. I thought you said 15, but never mind. I do 15. 15, I'm going to do 15. Alright, what's that? 500. I got 10 high. Then I need the one, though, Brian. I need the These? Five. Yeah. They're going to throw 15. I didn't hear you. I'm bad. I'm my bad. Okay. One's two. 10 high. All right, 15 All right. tall. Check it out. Oh, straight. Oh, I missed. I got a 10 high, too. 10 high, 10, 10 high, all that. Throughout. Chop it up. Chop. <laughs> A little anticlimactic there, but you know, I'll take it. And Craig W has a uh, a fan in the house already. Jason. You said fifteen. And Nathan. Huh? Looked like you were scared. Who? You. I'm always scared. I don't care if I have aces. I was. That's a wise man right there. You know, a lot of people oh, think, man, how much money am I going to win with these aces? Those. I think, how much money am I going to lose with these four Amen, aces? brother. I've lost more money with aces than any I'm other hand. I'm thinking black didn't even know what this about King? I think I've lost Yeah, more. a lot of people on the message board also giving yeah. shout-outs to yeah. Kiwi yeah. Colleen. Yeah. And she's going uh, through some uh, things at the hospital yeah. for yeah. treatment. Yeah, put them here. Right there at the plane. Right, just an example of the postal community here. We care about everybody. Yeah, you don't want to beat me out of them. Mr. Kiss on the live stream. 20 to go. Give them up. and a little bit of a, wow, very, a lot of playable hands. Very, <laughs> we've King, got a ace we, 10 suited. I know, we've got a pot of brewing here. 10 9 suited for Paige. The general, because he can, and he's built his stack up to a grand, and he is coming along with 5 3 offsuit. Oh, the TK, the Terry Cool hand. Wow, six players going to the flop. 270 in the pot. Paul in the box brings us this flop. And we got a 877 board. Open ender for Paige. Yeah, Paige really flop. Probably the hand that everyone would want right here in this situation with all these players. MGM Bob. Are you on Bob? Ammo coming out with a bet. And I like this action here from Ammo. Betting 85. I don't think Paige is going anywhere. He's reaching for chips, Vic. He double checks those cards. Yeah. Call. And he makes the call. Guppy now, the best pre flop hand. Ace King gets out of the way. Mr. Enright. Got his gator blood in him. Call. And we got three players now still going to the turn. Five of diamonds. That gives Enright the ace high flush draw. See if Ammo wants to keep the pressure on here. <coughs> Put an $85 bet out with just air. And now Enright is going to yeah, take this done. down if he can uh, maintain any kind of betting. But he's got the check mark with the ace. The board pairs again. Two pair on the board. Like this aggression. Three twenty five. Wow, is he gonna make a hero call here? He's making a oh hero call. Oh my goodness gracious. My goodness, a twelve hundred dollar pot making the call. Queen high versus ace high. Wow. Twelve hundred in the pot and Enright. 
reaching Ooh. down Ooh. in his soul, finding the call with ace high. Somebody check wow. his temperature. Wow. Locked in. What a play big ball by Enright. Big ball. <laughs> <laughs> y'all got, got him mixed up a little. <laughs> <laughs> that was Bobby. You know, man? Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fucking Bobby. How many of these things like three? Well, if that doesn't prompt some more thumbs up, I don't know what does. What a hand here for Mr. Bob Enright. Wowzers. You played it right, Adam. Well, I agree, Buddha. He did play it well. Yeah, it was two good poker plays. I almost went all the way to the turn. Yeah, he was ready. He knew he was better. You wouldn't have gotten that much money. I know I wouldn't have. You played it right, too. Two players are allowed to play the hand, right? There can only be one winner most of the times. I thought it was a great uh, bet from Adam, but it was just even a better call from Mr. Enright. <laughs> and Mr. Enright decided to have some fun tonight. He uh, raises it up to $8. MGM Bob's going to three-bet this to 20. Page now with ace-10. He's going to come along. Guppy just not seeing any cards. When he does see the cards, they don't have anything to do with the flop. But, you know, this momentum changes. We see it all the time on these live streams in these games, Dom. It happens constantly. And here comes the flop between three players. We have five, four, six, couple of diamonds. And right, hitting top pair. MGM Bob's going to continuation bet here with a gut shot. Yep, a couple of overs with to go along with it. Page gets out of the way, and a call and a grin. And the board pairs. Now the diamond draw comes in for MGM. You're not allowed to look back and see. you got to remember, eh? Supposed to. i got a check. Check, check. I just saw someone call three. And here's a free card. Oh, he's got the flush. Check. See if he likes that eight of diamonds or not. Fifty to go. <coughs> he got there for you. No. Yeah. Oh, and he folds. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to lie, but then he remembered. No, I wasn't going to lie. We're going to see it on the stream. I wasn't going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, he's like, oh, okay. The diamond, not the queen. Oh, well. Very, very caring for NGM. Guppy now Recommend got back deals. right in the nick of time. He's going to see his ace queen offsuit. Say thank you. I'll play. 10 20 straight. Take it right. 40 for Bob. 2 for 2. 60. Raises it up to 60. A 3 bet of the restraddle. Terry coming along with pocket fives. And Mr. Enright, 1,200 in front of him. Needs 40 to complete here. He's got a couple of diamonds. 10-6. Heavy sigh, reaching for chips. And there's the call. So now three-handed going to the flop. No need to splash that pot like that, pal. Yeah, that was aggressive, wasn't it? Somebody, we got a 7-6 jackboard, a couple of hearts, a pair of sixes for Enright, check, check. currently in the lead. See all these men in here? No women allowed. <laughs> I'm just telling you the rules. I, you know, I ain't trying to, you know what I mean? Uh -oh. I really can't be here. Don't no, let me in. Come on in. Come on in. You know how to deal? <laughs> yeah, I know how to deal, but I ain't dealing. <laughs> Continuation <laughs> bet here from I'm Guppy. 160. And he gets uh, Enright to lay down the six. And Enright has not been laying much down. <laughs> so that's uh, 
a real win here for Guppy. Yeah. That's a true story. You can't put all that on the board. I know. Okay. Give it to one. Give it to one. How much you add? Jesus. Yeah, I'm trying to keep the 500 total. Tally right. Straddle time. Go back up to five. Yes, sir. Are you writing it down? 20. 20. Well, Paul's got to relay it. Ain't writing it down. Paul's sharp, man. He's been doing this for like three weeks. He's busy dealing. He can't keep up with everything. I'm assistant dealer. Yeah. 20 to go. Assistant to the dealer. That's right. He's assistant to the dealer. And checking his option with the restraddle. So we've got 121 bucks in the pot and six handed. Greg with his flush draw. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, we'll all all the, extra? the only one with a really good piece of it is Paige, who bet 100, and now, I mean, really, he's uh, pot committed here. He's got the uh, top pair. The computer knows that all of those other hearts are already in the muck. So really just two outs here for Craig. She likes to say, why were you in the hand in the first place? Right. <laughs> uh, and Paige might think he's got uh, kicker problems here with the seven. All in from Craig, 4.37 to go. Don't be a name caller. He's coming in free flop up against uh, Ammo with pocket fours. This is after a raise from MGM Bob to 60 with the ace jack. Right behind him is the general with jack nine of spades. All right, he's making the call. He's going to be in good shape right now as MGM Bob threw away an ace. So he says for the stream. The general had his stack up just a little bit ago. 
just over a thousand. But he is going to get out of the way with his Jack Nine of Spades. Jack Nine of Spades. Jack Nine of Spades. That's where I had you. And Adam, aka Amo, is is in the lead here. Yeah. Craig needs a ace or a king, and he doesn't get it on the flop. Doesn't get it on the turn. And the fours hold. And the fours hold up. Eleven hundred dollars. Wow. I have to go back a few hands uh, that Guppy won. We forgot to do his shout out. And uh, he wanted to do a shout out to Rose, who's oh, in the it, it was in the main room today. Um, but he wanted to bring up that he still hasn't gotten his Rose hug yet. Oh, that's, and I know it's coming. All he has to do is ask, and uh, he shall receive. I always got to get a hug from Rose. But actually, that's his way of saying he's a huge fan of Rose, as is uh, everybody here at the reserve. Oh, yeah. Energy's and hopefully contagious. she's doing well out there in the main room for our $10,000 guarantee. And there's the uh, paying top 10 tonight with uh, first place being 5129. Really good turnout here tonight in the main room. It's the $10,000 guaranteed monster stack. Looks like we are down to. Uh, Is that fourteen thousand three hundred and twelve? I saw in the price. Yeah, pool? prize pool of fourteen grand. Dealer Tasty. change, Mr. Josh Black. Now coming into the box. And the ammo fans lighten up the chat board. Thanks, everybody, for joining us, particularly uh, if you're new to our live stream. We really appreciate it. We are the reserve in Toledo, Ohio. Buddha now three betting to uh, 60 with the ace queen. The general makes the call with ace five. Terry taking a look at uh, King Deuce and mixing it up here. He's going to make the call in position. And now the uh, welcome mat here for Enright coming in with uh, nine eight. So we're going to go four handed. Oh, we've said it once, we've said it twice, and it won't be the last time, Vic. The man is addicted to playing big pots. Yes. He in there. He wants to see flops. It's been working out for him so far. And look at that. On a 10-7 deuce sport, flops an open-ended straight draw. And really, if he wanted to make a semi-bluff here, he has a chance of taking this down. Buddha ops. First position. I'm, I'm in the hand. And now he hits. Yeah, he hits it. That also gives Buddha now the continuation bet from Buddha after a check. Yeah, Buddha has two overs from in the right. Broadway, so he's gonna make a play at this, thinking he's more alive than what he is. Right now, he needs a king and a king only. What's that? I never hold that. What do you mean? Four hundred now. Four hundred. And really, just a gut shot here for Buddha. His perception might be that he's got a couple of overs, but Enright isn't doing this with Ace Ten or A7. <coughs> got to put him on at least two pair here when, in fact, he's got the straight. And he just declared that Enright was the champion of the hero calls. So gets out of the way. Okay, Bob, you got to give those cards up. Did you get there, Bob? I'm just curious. I'd have, I'd have had a good hand. Did you hit the straight? I, I acted like it, didn't I? <laughs> yes. Eight, nine, 
mind, you got to give them cards. I'm watching his cards. You've got to show them or give them to you. Now I want to see them. you got to show them now. I'm just t telling you, you can't keep them. <laughs> turn, them over, turn them in, baby. Did you keep them I'm watching, watching you. No, you got to gotta go make sure that's the right two. Oh, no. Is that the second time Jeez. you had that? Uh, Come on, now. Racking up some more green chips. I didn't know you had to show Standard practice from Mr. Enright. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh-huh, we're watching. I'm paying attention. I'm watching them cars waiting for you to show them. We got a hand down here, didn't we? Here comes Austin, who wants a massage? Here comes Austin, who wants a massage? I do. Good question, Buddha. Did you wait for me to straddle yet? No. Okay. I didn't look. It doesn't matter. All right, we're going to have a $10 bonus show. Yeah, we're supposed to do that before the last breakfast. Yep. Yep. Huh? It's going to be 30? time to go. 30? Yeah. You were late on that. Yeah, late. we can't be yeah. on that. Late. He's checking well, out for Buda. I know I asked permission. Oh, and Let's I get a smooth you. call 10. Yeah, it's better to ask permission oh, than 75. For and MGM Bob now with Ace King suited right, makes now. it 75. Page right behind him with King 10 of spades. And now does Guppy get frog? You know, the 3 6 Mafia goes away. No matter what you have, that's a fucking scary call. Terry, aka Mr. Kiss. Terry K lets it go. All 75, we got three. Three players now going to the flop. 238 in the middle. Good check. What about a bigger one? Just let you know. I didn't want you to draw to it. That was a good bet. It got me off of it. And a 7-5-7 seven, seven board. Uh, MGM still best. Jules? Right. 125. You guys are in trouble now. Oh, we got Jules in the house. Jules, who we've seen on our live stream, had a deep run in the 1 million guarantee. Yes, she did. About a month ago. I believe eleventh place she out of a, she took eleventh place. Yeah, out of a couple thousand entrants. Yeah, deep run, good payday too. I believe she walked away with like run was like eighteen grand. I know it's in the teens. Let's see, I got my notes here. Sixteen. So um, you only got money twice. Yeah, one was four, one was five. Okay. Yeah, she smacked it for sixteen k, sixteen thousand. That's right. Thank you. Very good. Very easy. Yeah, so welcome, Jules. Buddha giving her a congratulations on that deep run in our one million dollar prize pool guarantee. Right in for the max, boys. Watch out. Like you did. That was a joint venture with our great friends down there in Dayton at the Mad River Poker Club. Yeah, shout out to Mad River Poker Club in Dayton. And no sooner does uh, Ammo's mom. Come on to the live and onto the chat board, and he picks up pocket queens. Thanks, Ladies. mom. Well, look at that, mom gets on there. You get pocket queens. It's meant to be. Yes. Oh, so I'm not 100 percent sure. Is the dealer button something that you always do, or optional? No, it's optional. optional. Okay. You can okay. straddle under the gun or on the. It's button. highly encouraged. Yeah. Okay. But not optional. Now, if somebody straddles on the button, the first person to act is right. the small one. Yeah. And if they do it under the gun, you can, the next guy can go 10, 20, 30. Oh, so you can but reach straddle. Rarely ever happens. Oh, straddle. reach straddle. Gotcha. Okay. Rarely ever happens. Well, it, it may come back. Oh, here we go. This is what Adam was looking for yep. with his limping in with the queens, hoping somebody would bump this up. I got 430 Sometimes when you wish upon a star, it comes true, and uh, he was just waiting for this. I think maybe 175, 200 all day. There's already 93 in the pot. Looks like a bet of 110. One, 160 is the bet. And a call now from Buddha. I think Buddha 
knows if he hits a seven. It's probably not good unless it has some company and ace and ace only. This screams big pair. And we got a jack nine four board, couple of diamonds. Both players holding a diamond in their hand. Four hundred is the bet. Buddha with just one out. The computer knows that the other two aces are in the muck, so not three outs, but one out. Very tempting. Temptation. Very tempting because ammo made this look like an overbet. And ammo taking it down. He's going to profit just under 200. Looked like he was debating whether to show or not. He's up to 1,300 in front of him, though. Yeah, nice comeback. Very nice comeback. And it is young. We're uh, The night is young. We're not even two hours into this. This is a four-hour live stream tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We're going till 10:15. A lot more poker action on its way here from the reserve in Toledo, Ohio. I asked Ammo. He's, I said, who do you want to shout out? He said, well, he didn't hesitate. I mean, immediately. My mom and dad. And uh, I said, so where do they live? And he said, well, uh, they've retired and they've moved up north. And he says, they are loving retirement. Congratulations to uh, Ammo's mom and dad. They're out there. And look at the cards here. Nines, ace, queen, suited. Guppy now with ace, king, raises it up to 50. Back over to Ammo with pocket fives. We saw him make a big call pre-flop with the fours, and they held up against Ace King. Yeah, a lot of big hands here, Vic. It's got the potential to be stacks on stacks, depending on the flop. Two pairs, two big aces. What more can you love? And here we go. Page now with the ace queen suit. And now a three bet. With ammo, gets, yeah, gets out of the way. He's drawn thin. So now here we go, 60. Yeah, heads up. Over a full stack in the middle before we even see any cards, Vic. And look at that top set on the flop, nine eight deuce. Guppy no. reaching for chips. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Wrong time. Oh, wrong wrong time there yes. for Guppy to push I all in. Nice check there from MGM Bob. 1,300 in the middle, and Bob is going to bring in a nice pot here. All right, and there's the full house for MGM. Takes it down. He's drawn dead. Oh, you know why we ran it twice. Now you know why we ran it twice. I didn't want you to think I was short stuff. Did we really just see that? Running it twice and he's drawn dead. 
goofball. Something new. Every week. Something new. Yep. I'll keep one. Three. 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 That button, right? Three much. Just give me back what I just gave you. You go back to four, Pete? Yes, sir. MGM Bob with a shout out to his buddy John down in Florida. Takes down a nice pot here in our 1 3 no limit hold and cash game. $500 buy in. One more of these and I up. I straddle. Do everything I guess, but I think it's a good thing. Damn, man, I'm trying to stack chips. I'm not a banker. I'm confused. It's not on you yet. It's not on me yet. I just added on $100. Yeah, I'm smoking $10 a month straddle. Thank you. I'm driving. Calls 10, 10 to go. Yeah, no, I declined. All right. Pocket kings for jewels. Looks like everyone, no one took the bait and did bump it up. So no. In the meantime. Ace. Terry hits ace deuce. Yeah, ace deuce six board. Oh, ace. Yeah, with his ace three, he hits ace deuce. Fifteen to go. They say they're ace magnets sometimes, Vic. Yeah. That time they stuck with the pocket kings. Bob hit a piece of this in his newfound stack. He's going to come along. Yeah, trying to ride dirty. And now the flush draw comes into play for Jules. She's got the king of clubs. And a free card to the river. And Ooh. it is a club. And another deuce. That could be an interesting card here. That could be trouble here for MGM Bob. I don't think he'll raise with the four clubs out there, but it could get Jules paid off. Just to maybe keep her honest, it's affordable. She's going or, to value town. Or he might just fold. Hey, I'm talking to you. <laughs> now we've seen jewels on the live stream before mm -hmm. uh cash and tournaments and you and i have dealt to jewels quite a bit yes and that is jewels mo when she makes a bet then she goes stoic she stares straight ahead and players from time to time will try to get her to react to something. They'll say something when their head's up. And she doesn't take the bait. She doesn't. She never takes the bait. It's like a discipline of hers. Yeah, I like um, it. She's not going to do it. And, of course, MGM Bob might not be used to that because he said, hey, I'm talking to you over there. <laughs> hey. Hey, no, but she doesn't. She doesn't bite. By the way, Tenley on the message board said, "How's the 3 p.m. tourney going?" Uh, Tenley, they had over fourteen thousand in the prize pool. Yeah. So over first five thousand for five thousand. Uh, first place. Yeah. Yeah. Great turnout today. Seven tables when I walked in before the show. And they're paying out top ten here tonight. Mr. Enright, speaking of ten, he's got two of them. Yeah, it's really good to see that 10K guarantee growing every week. I love the fact that this room's growing enough where every single week we can provide a 10K guaranteed prize pool tournament, Vic. And I won't be surprised with the growth of the room if pretty soon we're, it hits 20,000 on the regular. Right. Just Three players season. now to the flop. Really like Tens versus fours versus the general with 6-5. And look at that top set. Man, are we seeing top set or what Man. going on here? Sure. General sure. does have a gut shot. Sure. But as you can see, two of the fours are in Jules' hand. So drawing a little thin. There goes two of the fours that the general needs. Now a third heart. The general picks up some more outs. Not a great card there for Enright. No. Now he is. He's not happy about draw. that, but he's going to continue to put the pressure on here. 55. Bet's 55. A gut shot and a flush draw here for General Patton, and he lays that down. Okay. 
Thank you, Otis. Really appreciate it. Always a pleasure having you here on the chat board. Agreed. And we appreciate all of you very much. Thank you for joining us. We're going till 10:15. Our next live stream will be Tuesday night. That's our staple 5-5-10 no limit hold'em cash game. That's a $1,000 to $2,000 buy-in, and that action has just been fantastic. However, then after Tuesday. We will not have our cash game live streams next week on Thursday and Saturday because we're starting on Thursday morning. The $100,000 prize pool guarantee. Exciting times. Yeah, it's exciting times, but stay tuned because there's a good chance either Thursday night, one of those three nights, or all three, who knows, we might be uh, doing a live stream feature table here. No, no, very likely. And when you subscribe and you hit that bell right next to the subscribe button, you're going to get a notification. So please subscribe. And when you do, hit the bell. Oh, and if, then if you look at now MGM Bob. Hey, we have King Queen for Terry, Enright with Ace King, MGM Bob with Ace Queen, and then the Nemesis King Jack for Paige. Getting out of the way. Thinning the herd. Man, Terry is hemmed up right now. King Queen going against Ace King and Ace Queen. Man, Woo. And that's when the alarm should be setting off. Yeah, talk about painting yourself into a corner. Here's a four bet now from from Enright. You don't raise him, but you raise me. I fold. Appreciate you. you Good want to fold. Don't take it personal. I, I just not. wanted more money in the pot when I raised. You got it. You got my 75. Yeah. Why couldn't I just smooth call there at one time? You see my hand on the block. That ain't no calling hand. You raised too much, Bob. Who's talking to you? No one pulled your string from over here. <laughs> You ain't supposed to raise, you can't call a raise. I'm talking to my friend. I don't even know why you're butting in. You see, I just lost 75. You want to stick the knife in? Nobody called me a friend. You don't even send me a picture. See? Buddha, like he's on the Only playground. Been better, Brian Old been school, better. fifth grade. <laughs> well, anytime we've got yeah, these two guys here, here. and it's Brian quite often that we have them in the live stream. Yeah. It's basically the Comedy Central roast. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Not, sir. You can forget it. You defend your baby. Unadulterated, right, Vic? Oh, my goodness. They don't rehearse this. We don't give them a script. No. So, shoot from the hip. This is all. But not you, right? I'm a little surprised Terry's honestly taking this much time with King Queen. Oh, and he's making the call. Oh, no. He's doing better than that. He's going all in. Oh. You're <laughs> Terry and Bob Enright have logged many, many hours playing against each other, both oh, cash yeah. and tournament. And my guess is Terry just thought that uh, Enright was trying to buy it. Oh, he has some outs now with Jack. Enright is going to profit 513 right there. Yeah. What you call yeah, it? I got it, Bob. For sure. I know. I, I, I'm sure glad you did it because it's going all in. With I flop the ace, you're getting it all, for sure. With ace queen, I'm not backing off. You know that. Good race. Uh, uh, what about that? You know, you're gonna say nothing about that, eh, Pat? Oh, yeah. What's that? I lose all my chips if I call. If you bet one seventy-five, I lose all my chips. Yeah. Oh, there is no chips. Is that three mine? Which one's this? Bob Enright reaching for uh, Jules' uh, big blind there, the three dollars, as if he doesn't have enough in front of him. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, there's a breakdown. Looks like we're at the final four tables now of the 10K. So everyone's making a nice run in there. Good luck to all the players. There's the updated winnings right now. Enright up 1500. MG and Bob 728. General and Jules slightly up there. And Ammo making a comeback up to 1,200 in front of him. Got very unlucky early on. It's his first time on here. Had his jacks cracked by 10-3. Yes, you heard that right. But as you can see, he's only down just around 200 bucks. So one big hand away from getting in the green. 
no. East side go. Detroit. No problem, right? Michael. Nobody raised. So you got a few people riding with you? Yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah, who the hell get up? No, they drove. Oh, they did. Yeah. It's just, he thought they would have been gone by the time his life was right. Yeah, what a good raise Mr. Enright made there Close for time. me. Close time. I missed the hand. What do you have? Enright, this would all have been down there. Ace key? Yeah. If you don't raise. You don't want it though for rubbing it in. No, I don't. No, you got seven five. Six plate. Here we go. One of the smallest pre flop pots we've seen so far, six handed. The man would be buying too, the same guy. Rainbow, nine four two. And Buddha with uh, Jack Nine. Yeah, top pair is best right now, Vic. The general's going to come along with his fives. Yeah, not a horrible flop for fives. Really, it's not at all. I mean, right now he's in bad shape, but nothing there for Enright to hang his hat on, so he gets out of the way. We're heads up. You never know. Now a 10 comes into play. So everybody going to play till 1030 anyway? Is that the thing? I'll play till whatever. You know that. I know you're playing till the cows come home. Normally I'd bet here, but I can't trust Brian to fold, so I'm going to just check it. You're going to play until 10.30, ain't you? Oh, yeah. right, good. We're going to keep the game going until 10.30. You're going to play. Yeah, how's the look on this face? Probably. These, things, these things grow. Oh, man. I know what you mean. Buddha checks it over the general. Right, I mean, 50. I saw it. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eight of clubs. Jesus and Christ, man. And Mr. Enright having too many chips in front of him. First world problems. He's, he's, he's got that problem that we all want to have. Alzheimer's. You want me to scare him up? That was funny. Pleasantly confused. Jules came here to play. She's going to put the uh, button straddle on. And Jules is action. And she'll tell you that face to face. Nah. He wants to show them off. Actually, her and Enright have something in common. They both love playing big pots. Yeah, that's true. I, I've noticed Jules, she'll be in more inclined to call if the more chips are in there. And she can mix it up just like Enright. Oh, she has a very strong game. Craig, been pretty quiet here. Donning a great hat. Jack nine of clubs, raising it up. Terry coming in. Enright didn't hesitate with the queen jack. Control can tell you. They know how much he's got. Now Page with kings, and he's going to raise this up, make it 75 to go. Guppy probably would have called that 30 with the 10-9 uh, of spades, but he's going to fold it. Jules says, no thanks. You can have my button straddle. Wish you well. And now the uh, the corner over there. Greg, Terry, and Enright going to come along, so we're four-handed going to this flop. And look at that top set for Again. Paige. Again, we're seeing sets, and not just sets, top sets being hit. That's the third one in the last hour, hour and a half. Right. King, five, nine, couple of hearts. Craig, the only one to hit anything. Let's go along with it. 125. Yep, yep. Yep. Out of the way. There's a much needed pot there for Page. He's down below his original $500 buy in, but uh, starting to climb back up again. It is at 707 now after that pot. Yeah. So in the profit margin. Now he's in the profit margin. Nice job, Page. 
And we do have a dealer change coming in. Eleven different pots. All right, welcome. Oh, might as well go high and low. And high low. Twenty-two different. Yeah, high low. Please go to thereservepoker.com and you can look at all of the tournaments that we have here on a daily basis. We're open seven days a week. Tonight's uh, monster stack, ten thousand dollar prize pool guarantee, got up to fourteen thousand, and they're down to four tables on that. Tomorrow, the Sunday Fun Day, one hundred dollar one reentry, about the as close as you can get to a freeze out. Of course, the big news is starting Thursday morning, eleven a.m., day one A for the mega bounty, one hundred thousand dollar prize pool guarantee. Terry now in the small blind. He's going to raise it up. Sixes. Got sixes. Here's Jack from Buddha coming along. He's going to bump it up. Is he? Min He's doing the min click about this is the third time I think I've seen Vic. Yeah. With just a little min click raise. Yeah, I thought it was great. It's close. So Kara. So now at the helm, gets the pot right, heads up action. I have no wear that shirt. I just don't take it to work with me. So I oh, six right in the window for Terry. Wow. Another set. And they go check, check, free card. Yeah, he's hoping to have Buddha catch up here. Yeah, he wants Buddha to catch up. He was hoping for a jack or an ace. He doesn't know that right now. But. And he shows wow. the sixes. It's amazing how these live streams, there's different themes with different cards we see the night. And tonight there's not really a specific hand overseen, but man, four sets in the last hour. Right. That is definitely the theme of the night so far. Its own unique personality every show. And I'm not sure. I'm getting the sense that they uh, took a vote and decided on a mandatory straddle because we have uh, not seen many hands here tonight with either without a, either a button straddle or a, a straddle under the gun, and sometimes a restraddle and a restraddle. Well, we also added Terry and Jules to the table who love the straddle, so that always goes. <laughs> that helps the cause. Two action players. Look at Jules mixing it up here. 6 3 of clubs, raising it up after all those folds. Terry, Craig gets out of the way, and now Terry completes. And we got a flop of Jack Deuce 5. Jules with a gut shot. A little semi She here. reaches for chips, and Terry gets out of the way that quickly. So Jules now up over her original buy in. They knew her name anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, they knew her name. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't take long. <laughs> he knew. <laughs> he knew. <laughs> like when you go to the front tower. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Why are your hands on my shoulder? Ten in the bottom. Yep. Raise it Pocket Queens for ammo, bumping it up to 30. Page now looking down at Jack, 10 offsuit. He's just going to smooth call here. Not seeing anything too exciting from the hands. The other player is good. And right on the straddle, yeah, 8 7 offsuit. And here we go, three handed to the flop. <laughs> Queens versus Jack 10 versus 8 7. Oh my, here it comes. Been a seven right in the window, fought with an ace and a five, couple of diamonds. Queens still in the lead for ammo. Second time now he's had Queens tonight. Continuation bet here, 25. Mm. Yeah, I think you played on the string before. And right gets a piece of it, so you know he's going to be coming along, and he does. And here we go. To the turn. Heads up. Oh, boy, look at this, Dom. Oh, another set. Another set. 
And I like that bet sizing, but Enright doesn't, so he gets out of the way. And there's a pot for Ammo, and I know Ammo's got his fan club out there. His first time on the live stream coming to us from the Detroit area. This young man is uh, playing poker, from what I understand, just about seven days a week, playing online quite a bit, has a real passion for the game, and prefers PLO. Plays uh, against uh, MGM Bob and Sacco up there in Detroit on a regular basis and plays at some other games with Buddha. Had but has been wanting to be on the live stream for quite some time. And it's a pleasure to have him. <laughs> Jules, a couple of hearts. Greg, we saw him raise earlier with this hand. And he does it again. Now it's up to 25 bucks with the Jack-10. Terry coming along. He's got an ace. Oh, boy. Enright just making the call. Now Buddha with the 6-3 of clubs. And back around to Ammo. And he's got a couple of clubs. 7-5. Looks like everyone wants some. We got a pot of brewing here, Dom. Just like the old saying, Vic, you want some, come get some. Come get some six-handed. And an eight, five, four, all diamonds. And nobody with a diamond. Okay. Nope. Open ender for Buddha. Top pair for Terry with the ace kicker. And, you know, ammo hits mid-pair with the gut shot. So a few players get a piece of it. But yeah, with all those diamonds, the interest goes down. And nice bet by Terry there. He's going to pick up a $128 profit. Well done, good sir. Like Terry trying impressive. to make a comeback here after getting felted by Mr. Enright to his left. Pushed all in at an inopportune time with uh, King Queen. Against Enright's ace king. Or was that ace, qu ace king? Yep. <laughs> Ammo now with a $10 button straddle. MGM Bob makes the call. Definitely in Terry's range here. Jack nine of diamonds. The question is, does he raise this? And that's what I, I believe he's thinking about. And he does. Now he's going to make it 50. Jack 10, or Jack, uh, or seven, seven, excuse me, for Enright. Get my eyes caught up here. Now ammo with a couple of spades. Ace three. He needs 40 here to complete, and he does. Jack 10 for MGM Bob, who's now up over 1,200. And he makes the call, so we're going to go four-handed to the flop. Will we see a set of sevens again? I was going to say, why not, but here we go. Well, you can't flop a set, <laughs> but just give a three of a kind. Three of a MGM kind. MGM Bob still has three tens. A set, three of a kind, same thing basically why not mr enright with pocket sevens wants to see where he stands so he puts a bet out of 150 and he's getting eyed up and down there by uh, mgm bob Ooh, the eye well the eye the yeah. look and he's just going to make the call we're going to go heads up here like mr enright with just one out and that's not one of them Vic, I got a question for you, non-poker related after this hand. All right. Just so you know, I'm not talking about the Bears for no about bears. three days. No Bears. Promise. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the drama. You the turn. Oh, the drama.
pull the other two over cards you had. MGM Bob's not going to show, even though uh, so we Bob Enright was trying to shame him into it. So we brought accusing up, him of just having two overs. We yeah. brought up the eye, the look. We see it at poker tables. Yeah, I was watching Home Improvement the other day. Yes, where they were. It was the episode where they were talking about the wife giving the look, and they were in the hardware store, and the hardware store's wife came and asked him to do something. He was arguing. And he's like, and "No, no, Bob. don't!" The look, and the guys are like blocking the look like this <laughs> in the face. Do you that. ever have to? Is there a subject, whether it's with sports, you want to do something, fishing? Uh, if you want to smoke a cigar, who knows? Do you ever have to deal with the look, Vic, from the wife? Yes, I do. And, and what what is that subject? I'm just curious. If it, if it, as long as it's a appropriate for the pod, you know the podcast. Well, subject wise, or uh, am I just trying to be funny and she doesn't think it's funny? You get the look then. I I get the look. The look, yeah, and the look is very powerful. They they showed that in Home Improvement. Yeah, everyone I, uh, knows the look. I I do. I get the look. Yeah, and at the poker table, you do get the look from your opponents. So sometimes, like, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, look at this action coming up here, Dom. Oh, jacks and kings, big hand alert. Ammo with jack ten. Now is not the time. Don't do it. You're young. I just can't beat that. Bob. All right. Well, a smooth call won't kill you. I just thought for a second when he was reaching for those greens, he was doing, he was going to raise it up there. But I have, a, I highly doubt, Vic, that we're going to see this just ninety dollars pre flop. You know what's on? Oh, I didn't even know. How much? Ninety dollars. Oh my God! You gotta just say something once in a while. Like, oh wow! And they get in. Like I don't. Okay. Here we go. No one pulled the trigger. Stayed disciplined. Three players. Three seventy-three in the middle, and we have a six-seven-six board. MGM Bob flopping two pair, but there's two over pairs in the hand. Page leading out. This could be disaster for him with this type of flop. Pocket jacks, and now the general. You know, and and here's the thing, Vic. If you're the general right now with kings, I think you're a little bit more confident. With Page doesn't really, his cards are pretty premium. Yeah, you're not really thinking he's playing a seven or a six right now. Most likely, exactly what he has. Yeah, a yep. lower big pair, maybe queens, jacks, or tens. So 575 in the pot. Oh, and there's oh, a full house. Boy. That seals the deal there. Overkill. But at the same time, that's a scare card for Paige, where that might actually hurt his action. Now, it's great. You don't have to worry about getting a two-outer and a jack coming. But at the same time, all the action. We'll see how it plays out. I don't see with three hearts and a straight draw out there why you would raise here, though. Uh, I mean, if you're really just putting him on a naked ace of hearts, that's the only time you want to raise here to try to get some value in case he doesn't hit. But, yeah, and there it is. Just in case he's on a draw. He's going to make him pay a little bit more. Hoping that he's got a heart and he's chasing. That's not the situation here, but. A nice little speech. <laughs> and Brian hitting a monster there. And how that hand played out for everyone that's out there that plays 1-2 and 1-3, and even 2-5. There's nothing wrong with how Brian played that, no. but just strategy-wise. Right. We've seen multiple player, players play it differently. And as an example, 
I, I do remember a 5-10 game with Shimmy. Yeah, yeah, uh, and he ha either had aces or kings, and it was the similar thing. Show. He was going against tens or jacks. And it was a flop pretty similar. And someone was wondering why did he raise on the flop so much. And he did get paid off. The player called and whatnot. And I talked with him after the show, and he pretty much said, I put him on an overpair also to the board. I knew I he had king's races, and he, like, basically said, I don't want any scare cards to come out. Oh. And I basically wanted to try to get all the money in right then and there before any scare cards came out. At that time, I thought he was pretty much locked in the hand. So multiple ways to skin a cat in poker, don't get me wrong. Right. But if you're ever wanting to play that hand a little bit differently, and I'm sure Brian probably plays it the other way. He mixes it up. But a lot of times, too, if you if you can really get the sense that your partner, your opponent, has, you know, nines, tens, jacks, even queens, maybe in a complete cooler right there when you have pocket kings. A lot of times you want to try to get the money in right there for that case scenario. A king comes, they're not married to the hand now. They might think you were floating ace king and hit. But very nice hand for Brian, Mr. Patton. Took down a nice pot. Still played it very well. Don't mind that raise two on the turn in case he's got a, a big heart in his hand. You're trying to get some value in case he misses. Like I said, it's a lot easier when you can look and see everyone's cards. Well, and actually, we got some talk on there. And uh, guys, Kyle, Jay, I kind of touched on it right now, but I'll, I'll go in into it a little bit afterward. We got three players. Big hand Bruin again. Two players with ace king. And king queen also in the hand. And look at that. Wow. Queen, ace, deuce, couple of spades. Already 624 in the pot, and I think we're going to see quite a bit more. Yeah. Now this one's big. Most likely a chop pot unless Buddha hangs around. But with Paige behind him, too, that will be a factor. One guy for hand. One guy for hand. All right. I'm just messing around with you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Enright. I hate, I hate to scold you, but one guy for right, hand. I'll, I'll finish it when it's done. Thank you. Whose turn is it? One hundred percent. Oh, oh! I didn't see he was in the hand. I really apologize. I thought he had folded. My bad. That's right. why I scolded him. Oh, thank you. Because uh, honestly, I didn't see him in the hand. Well, I would never do that. I thought it was heads up between you two. So I really apologize. I'll sit up around for that one. No, I want your chips in play. <laughs> <laughs> Just for that, I'm going to sit all around. No, I seriously didn't see him or I wouldn't have said anything about him. Right. You ain't leaving that little white one back. There you go. Get her in there. What, 380? What did I, I Cheat. What I was going to say was I was going to say he's trying to get all the chips tonight. Ah. I didn't see you were in the hand, or I wouldn't have been speaking to you. It's all right, buddy. Yeah, my bad. Oh, and Buddha all in. I think it's going in. in anyway from the looks of it. It was like snap, snap. Page all in. All right, I'll sit down. I'll sit on my hand. How much? 248, 376. 376. Yeah, you can't fuck out there. I'm like an ATM. I think uh, this trip uh, to reserve, I'm in for like 4K. <laughs> nice. And only uh, 1200 is from poker. All right, I'm taking the 240. With all the other side shit, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I need the reality too. I need that. Uh, Three players, you want to run it three times or just once? Somebody tell me, I don't care. Um, I, I'm neutral, whatever you want to do. One time. <laughs> Bye. I gave that you a funny. chance. And I might be behind, I don't know. We All right, we got a big pop yeah, brewing here. 
1600 in the middle, three way all in, two players with ace king, one with king queen. <coughs> Buddha hoping for a queen to come. Oh, we got a spade here. I see that. No, there is a page. spade also. It. Yeah, pages. Hoping. Oh, and there it is. A spade. The flush draw comes into play. Oh, and a whiff. So. So I get all this, right? Yeah, yeah, Enright will get that, and then you guys the top. Get yep, because Buddha had a little bit more. He'll take all that, and then sure. him and Paige will profit. <laughs> Two thirty-four each from the main pot. Um, to go back to that hand because people were talking about it. It's an interesting hand. You want to run about with jacks versus kings? There, Kyle made a uh, good question. Why raise that? It's a lock to win ninety-nine percent of the time. And Jay even said, "Right, Kyle, he ruined his chance for more money potentially." <laughs> Gentlemen, I will say this. I agree I with what you're saying, <laughs> but I will also agree the disagree where you can play it and not raise, and you're hoping for your player to catch up. But vice versa, I'm a half empty, half full type of guy. With that being said, sometimes your players, with there's a straight draw and a flush draw out there, if maybe someone was just floating two high cards, and if he doesn't hit, you're getting nothing on the river. So I think with the straight draw, with the flush draw being out there, three hearts, yeah. It really just depends on what your opponent has because on the turn, that might be your only opportunity to also get any value. And it wasn't that big of a raise. He was just trying to get something more on there. If Paige had pocket jacks with the jack of hearts, he might have peeled one more card. But it was just, like I said, I think that's the advantage of you – and I both are watching the live stream and seeing all the cards. It's a lot harder when you're at the table and you're not 100% sure what your opponent has. So well, I don't mind the play. I, I, yes. And my style of play, which I see as being flawed because um, I don't hit big hands, um, you know, like the high hand kind of thing. Yeah. I almost never do that because if my hand is strong, I bet it really strong. I, I I'm really trying to get after the turn, after the flop, or after the turn. If I'm if I'm strong, typically, um, I'm not a good player at trying to get more money in there. I'm trying to make sure that there aren't more cards coming right. that my opponent can hit and then and mm -hmm. then get me out. Yeah. So um, and I see that in my own game at really as a flaw. I, I don't see myself as being able to have the patience to ride that out or, or see if we can get some more money in the pot. If I'm hitting it, I'm getting it in because I, I really want to uh, decrease the field or at least uh, get somebody out of the pot. Yeah. So and as you mentioned, there are so many ways to play this game, mm -hmm. um, and it comes down to what your comfort level is and really what level of play you've achieved. Right. Right? And, and a lot of times, too, look at the player that was in the hand with him, Paige. How many times have we seen Paige where when he's leading out for 100, does he not have a better made hand? That was actually the weakest I've seen Paige. He still had a good hand. He had an over pair on the flop. Yeah. The king on the turn, he wanted to see where he was at so right. with jacks. But he normally has a hand that you can pretty much expect a call if he's the initial raiser on. That was literally the only time tonight oh, we've yeah, seen him have a hand that he went back yeah, down well, from. I, you know what I was going to tell him? I was going to tell him you're trying to get all the chips tonight. That's what I was going to say. Anybody thirsty? And then I looked and saw Well, and you brought up uh, getting the look from your spouse, and I do have to do a shout-out. I don't know. They might be watching down in Florida right now. Um, my wife and my two daughters went down there for a quick uh, three-night trip to St. Petersburg. Awesome. My most excellent uh, brother and sister-in-law, Bill and Marcy <laughs> Osier. <laughs> and uh, maybe they're watching. I, do love this shit, though, I know know Caroline's probably just as livid as I am about, you know what? Maybe we won't talk about the, that team. But, Dom, I, when I get the look, it's not always directed right at me. Oh, my gosh, you got the look. That's the look, but she's not looking yeah, at me. That, that, that is the look. Vic, good way to go. I just saw the look. 
got a picture here of Nancy and I on a bike ride. And yeah, and I'm not officially married yet. I'm only engaged, but I do know the look for my significant other, too. So, and, uh, I, I'm a big safety guy. Don't get me wrong, but I came up alongside her with my phone and took a quick picture of her. And, uh, <laughs> I won't yeah, do that again. Yeah. <laughs> Lesson learned. <laughs> we got four players now going to the flop. This is a doozy right here. Raised it up to 60. There's 243 in the middle. Three right in the window. Followed with a jack and an ace. Couple of clubs. Top pair for Jules, and she's going to slow play it. Terry also with mid pair. Content with the situation. Now she's going to put a bet up. Six of diamonds comes out. I thought you said 30. It's at 80. Oh. <laughs> Careful there, Bob. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> she will not take your guff. You going to bet it? That's part of what I love about Jules. She will fire back at you. I can't get out quick enough. I think he was waiting for you to push it over the line, Jim. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. I said 80. I know. Oh, okay. I'm that was, sorry. That was a bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't complete know. It. Sorry. She's got the check mark next to her name, and of course, this uh, four doesn't really help anything. Yeah, all of it. And she's going to go all in. Why not? Uh, chosen one, we've got a question on the chat board as to whether that uh, we, whether we've got a seat open. Oh. I don't think we do. At I don't the think we do. I'm not seeing one. Thank you. And again, uh, Levine, this is a 15-minute uh, delay. So if something did open up <laughs> within the last 15 minutes, we're not aware. Probably the best thing to do if you want to check it out real quick, just call the just call us here at the reserve. Marissa's in the cage. Jim's in there as well. Jonathan might uh, be the one to pick up the phone, but he can let you know. And thank you for asking. I was on the list. Been quiet for a while for ammo, but now he's going to pick up ace, king of clubs, and he's going to raise it up to 50. Got a straddle on a restraddle on. There's a call from MGM Bob. Similar chip chip stacks between those two players. I can let her in. I can go. No, no. No, seriously, I can't. Oh, I gotta listen to her all the way. Home. Yeah, yeah, you gotta right. listen to her all the way. Home. <laughs> We're gonna play late anyway. So. That is funny. Stage that was she fun. She plays seven nights a week. Let her. Let her. Jules coming in with nine eight of clubs. So is the general and Terry with the nine three offsuit. Enright figures the price is right. Now, what does Buddha do with Jax? And he's going to push all in, put the pressure on. Not a calling situation for ammo. I believe this is an all-in situation. He wants to isolate this. And I don't see him. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. We've only met ammo. Over in the last couple of hours. I think, I think the price tag's all okay because he's only got 450 in front of him, too. And that's what he does. He's going to push it all in. You he don't wants to make sure that nobody else is coming in. Yeah, you don't see ace-king suited getting folded a lot pre-flop, especially for, you know, 500 or less. Maybe if both gentlemen, like, grinded their way up to 2,500. Yeah. And you don't want to go from $50 to 2,500, which is ace high. That situation, obviously, you can get away from it, but yeah, for 450. So here's a $1,900 pot here in our 1-3 no limit hold'em cash game here at the reserve in Toledo. 
Buddha. We've got Buddha and our newest addition to our live stream, Ammo, a.k.a. Adam. 1,300 at grabs. I know Ammo's got a big cheering section on the message board. They're going to be rooting for some clubs, an ace or a king. Coin flip situation. And there's a king right on the flop. He takes the lead. And a jack and a jack only. Here comes the river, and it's another king. Ammo takes it down. Nice hand, and he's up to 1,900 now. And after getting unlucky early, he is profiting, profiting nicely now, playing some great poker. Switch with him for a minute. And it's time for a dealer change. You are watching the reserve here in Toledo, Ohio. Going till 10-15 tonight in our 1-3 No Limit Hold'em cash game. Our next cash game live stream will be Tuesday night, 5-5-10. The $1,000 to $2,000 buy-in. No cash game live streams this Thursday, Thursday and Saturday due to our big tournament coming up starting Thursday morning, 11 o'clock. 100K guarantee, top 10% from all six flights. Make it the day two on Sunday. And if you make it the day two, Vic, yeah. $500 every single knockout you get. Wow. Yeah. Juicy. And don't forget this real quick. Yes. One more small. Yes. Tidbit. Yes. $1,000 double bag bonus. <laughs> yes. Somebody asked about how many players coming for day 1A on Thursday morning. And as Dom mentioned, one of the incentives of doing that is that you get into that first flight. And with the double bag bonus, then you're maximizing your opportunity to get that bonus. The longer you wait, the less chances you are that you might be double or triple or even quad bagging. Jules now picking up pocket nines. Raise the 40. I'm going to raise it up to 40. Craig folds. Terry coming in with 10 8. Suited Jack 10 here for Enright. Hearts. He's on the big blind and he makes the call. 40 to play. Buddha just went all in with jacks. Lost to ammo, but now he wants to come in, be part of this action. You get any callers? Nope. She's checking. She's checking. The more the merrier. Yeah. If you get aces, how much check? I mean, you can't run out full. You got like 200 right off. Rip it. Shit. Six yes. players. Okay. Six yeah. players going to the flop. Check or back. Check. 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 Buddha's coming in with 10-8 diamonds. Check all the way around a free card and two pair now for Buddha. 75. And Jules with her nines has the straight. And she makes the call back over to uh, Terry. Players. Terry's got two pair. Oh, my. Check. And Jules is going to have the check mark here. But both Terry and Enright, two pair. That's just heartbreaking. I, I would say in poker, I, I, I can't stand when I flop two pair. And you get a run out like that. that that's, if you talk about being salty in poker, Vic, when you put a four card straight runner runner out there, yeah, that chaps you. You can even say flop or flopping a set. Either two pair or flopping it. You're so strong on the I know, yeah. And you get a runner runner where there's a four card straight out there. And when at the time that it came out, when there's uh, five people, six people still in the hand, it just uh, Thank you. spells doom. And Jules now, $350 profit. Yeah, Coming in after, uh, after she took an attempt here at the uh, 10K in a day. 
Well, decided to play cash game, and it's paying off for. Yeah, she's up 800 early. Yes. And a new arrival. Well, that's what you get when you bring in chocolate-covered delicious pretzels for the whole staff. You there you go. Good karma. Good karma. Yeah, shout out to Jules for yesterday on our uh, tournament. Brought in some. And I'm talking, these aren't just like the regular chocolate-covered pretzels. They were in like a fancy box. You opened it up. They had like, you know, when you get like the really nice chocolates, the little paper top on them with the instruction manual, basically. And I'm like, why do you need an instruction manual for <laughs> chocolate pretzels? But I like the ambiance of it, but I'm not going to read it. But yeah, yeah, the lo it looks cool. But I just took it off, started chomping away. Max value. Paige raising up with ace jack of clubs to 40. Terry coming along in position. And we're going to go heads up to the flop here. Nikki at the helm. Page hitting the best of this. Yeah, Jack 5-3, rainbow board. First act, he's going to come out with a continuation bet, 100. I would say that's a great flop for Ace Jack. Unless you're going against fives or threes. All in for less, 65. Ooh, Terry. All in for less. In for 65. What he needs some help here. He's all in for 65. Yep, Really good. Yep. Should have ran it Thanks twice. Should have ran it twice. Yeah. You don't have to flip them on me. No. I thought you said you had it. Good night, guys. Thank you. I thought you had to. I didn't know. I thought if you were Thank all you. in, you had to. Since it's the wow. regular Joe show, yeah, I would have never really wanted to. The show part of showing? Right? I think it's supposed to be about the conclusion. What do they call it? No, that's what, no, it's just good for the show. But they're looking at I can see your garden. Yeah, yeah. They can see it. Button straddle. We got a seat open, Tyler. Oh, they knocked them out, right? Yeah, they knocked them out. Yeah. 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 Ten to play, button straddle. $10 on the button for Mr. Enright. Buddha will be first up here with Queen Jack. Nice playable hand here. It looks like he's going to give a little... Raise oh. the 15. Just a mini raise. The Mighty Duck Sand Pocket Deuces for MGM Bob coming along. Guppy calls, General calls, Jules with the same hand. It's Buddha. You're so pretty. And right, though, is going to wake up with a beautiful hand on his straddle. Ace Queen offsuit. Timing's, timing is and he's timing is everything, and he's going to try to get the dead money out. Yep. 320. Yep. We are, we've done it like that before, where we have raised five before. So I, I remember that for sure. It would have had to have been 12. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. min bet, the minimum bet would have been 12. Wow. Oh, no big deal. you got to sit out one round like me. Probably not 12, but... Every mistake. I don't know what I'm saying. No big deal, but well, you're still talking about it. He has to get the one round penalty. All right, then. Love is in the air. You can yeah, feel you it all. You got penalized one round and you can't raise for two. <laughs> I gotta think Craig is so happy to see pocket nines. Wow. Well, he's I mean, been so card dead and he's so seen all dead. this action going on. Yeah. I think my buddy Bob K oh. even echoed my thoughts. Uh, through Texas, the show is going on, the Perch Master. 
And it was funny. I was thinking the exact same. Oh, and he, no calls? He's been so car dead. Finally gets nine. Not one person coming along. Really? The luck of the Irish. Four seats at one thirty. All right. Hopefully Craig gets a nice second half here. We still got over an hour left on this live stream, so plenty of time to get a rush of cards. Anybody care 140? I don't have a 10. No, you're fine. I'm sorry. What are you, what, what are you asking? You need a 10? No. I got change. You can add. I got a sure 10 on to a stack. Oh. Here. Straddle on the button. Straddle on the button. Buddha, give him 10 more. Ten to play. Who's one ten? No, they were just saying no, ten more. Ten dollars. Would Mr. Three Hundred go? Raise to thirty. Thirty dollars to go. Ammo. We've seen mixing it up. I like this gentleman the way he plays. He did it with seven six suited earlier. Now eight five. He doesn't just have to have you know ace king or a big pair coming in this live stream playing a wide range of cards. And look at ammo here flopping. Flush draw. A flush draw. But top two for Guppy. This has big hand alert written all over it. It folks. sure does. Guppy checks it as does Jules. Here comes a bet. 45 is the bet. Just a smooth call from Just Guppy. a smooth call. Trying to lay the trap. And there's an ace. Guppy's so happy to see that that's not the ace of hearts. Yeah, it was close. It was red. Still safe. 100. Seven outs here for Ammo with his flush draw. The problem is he only has 175 backs. So you don't know if you're really liking this price. If you hit, you you don't have the potential to win that much more. Yeah, and he shows the fold. I like that fold yes. from Ammo with the one card to go. I think... If Guppy had, you know, even 500 behind him, you could justify being up in chips, peeling a card where you're getting a little bit better payoff potentially. But yeah, with only about 170 back, not worth it. $17. I like the awkward number of 17. Getting the psyche. Paige coming along now with Ace Jack. He has the best of it at the moment. Three players. General's going to play 4 3. Get him, General. 54 in the middle and a jack right in the window. Called with a four and a king. Paige flopping the best of it. And that's not going to stop Jules. She was the initial razor. She puts in 35. Paige calls. Brian with bottom pair now. And still a nice stack in front of him. 1,000. Eight of hearts. Doesn't help anybody. Check. Check. Show me a winner. 
Yeah, I think that's going to be good, Paige. Hundred dollar profit. Paige now up to eight fifty three. He was uh, really struggling early on, but now um, and just making steady. a good show of it, really. And no pun intended to our comrade who deals here, but like I said, steady Eddie. <laughs> Just kind of climbing the ranks slowly but surely. And you look at it now, he's up, you know, $353 from his original buy-in. Yeah. Now, I've heard Eddie referred to as Fast Eddie. I have to admit I'm not sure I've ever referred to him as Steady Eddie, but maybe you've heard differently. i got to admit I have never heard Steady Eddie before. <laughs> <laughs> wonder no, what Neil Brinkman would have to say about that. And here comes Rose. What can we say about Rose that hasn't been said already? She's uh, waving. Ten dollars. She brought in uh, some. St. Patrick's Day treats for us. She's donning some very lovely green blouse there tonight. Always a big smile, but here we go back to the action and action indeed. Two players here hitting top pair. Uh, I wish you would have too. The General with Jack 8 and Jules with Jack 7. Yeah, action flop here. Enright gets out of the way, so now we're going heads up. And look at all these outs for Jules. She's going to raise it. And the aggression pays wow, off. Oh, and that aggression pays off. Miss Ann Jules. And on, on the aggression meter, it wasn't very high, but aggression is aggression. Yeah. And that time it paid off for her. She got the better hand out of the way. Do you straddle? She's on a mission right now. Wrong question to ask there, Bob. It's a little personal, Bob. Whoa. I know. <laughs> you realize what you said, right? We have a guest celebrity. I didn't think that was possible. I know. Sixty-seven years old. Three dollars. I got a pull after that one. By the way, our celebrity is Rose in the house. If uh, Bob Enright will please lift his head up, we can see the blushing that's going on after that exchange. That was a classic one. You don't get Mr. Enright to bluff, uh, blush uh, very often. Jules could do it, apparently. And Rose. Yep. <sighs> the power of Rose compels us. And we got a, wow, look at this oh. flop. Boy. We've been talking about sets being flopped. Why not flop a full house for the general? Why not? He's only a 99% favorite. Needs runner runner sevens for quads to lose this hand. Oh, it's just for you. But he's my close friend. Call. Oh, and Jim Bob is? Hear that, Bob? I know. Hey, everyone knows. It's, I don't know. Ten on the turn. <laughs> <laughs> He's not real happy. Nothing makes him sad, Bob. No, I know. He's, I, yeah, and the, that turn in river is an action killer for Brian. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking even for the bluffing aspect. Like right. Duffy slowed down even if he was on a draw, the ten helped. Just trying to get a little more money in that pot. He hit it hard, though. I mean, full house on the flop. <laughs> My favorite hand? Yeah. And I like the no-show there. Oh, that's pretty much uh, Brian Patton's M.O. You and I have dealt a lot of hands to him in tournaments, and he's not one to show. We have Rose on the live stream. It's a great day. Yes. Holiday tomorrow, St. Patty's Day. Rose playing now. What a treat. 
Got to do some uh, hearts for that. Did Guppy give, get his rose hug since she's at the table? That's a really good question. Now. Under the gun here right the bat. for Rose coming out strong. Bet 25. We don't talk, Bob. We don't talk. Rightfully so, as she's got the ace king of hearts. The general out of the way. Jules out of the way. No, Jules does not get out of the way. She's going to make this call. We're going to have two, the two ladies at the table. Going heads up, three four clubs on the end of the other end of the spectrum to ace king of hearts, and a check in the dark from Jules. Check or back check. Here comes a continuation bet of twenty five. A gut shot there for Jules. She makes the snap call. Check or back. And now Jules gets the gut shot, hits the straight. Jules hitting the straight, check mark. Oh, she's got me. Yes, she does got gotcha. you. She got you good. And Jules, the heater continues for Jules. Jules also a player that does not show her cards very often. She lays that down after her bet. Doesn't show. Straddle. One heck of a hand there for Jules and a nice little pot. They said that, she, that she's hot. <laughs> what? That's what they come out and said. They weren't talking about the cards. I don't even know what we're talking about. What are we talking about? I have no idea. I think it's dirty, but I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Play. Rose is involved, so what do you think? Yeah. Everything I said, she's turned to sex. Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. $10. I don't know. Yeah, that's probably pretty, pretty good since she had that. That's pretty good. I don't know. Listen, guys, I'm a little too young to hear all of this, okay? Me, too. <laughs> oh, my. Uh huh. Rose just brings energy to the table, doesn't she? Yeah, it's something Whether she, else. She, and she doesn't really. even have to talk. She brings energy to the table. Yeah. It's the power of Rose. It, it challenges five. the power of the Buddha. It does, and now we're five-handed going to this flop. Seven, queen, six, rainbow board. Queen, ten, and queen, jack, both hit top pair. Craig, he's been waiting. Finally, gets a hand he can make some money off of. Like I said, he's been card dead on this live stream. We got a pot brewing here. You're never left out, Rose. She's got a pair of sevens, though. There's life. And everybody going this to could turn. slow things down a little bit here. Yeah, and that really doesn't. Does Five handed with anyone? an ace coming. Check. I'm just wondering. Check. Yeah, I mean. Nobody liked the ace. Nobody likes. Didn't the even ace. get a gut shot straight draw with it, and now Craig with the check mark. Fifty. The bet is fifty. Fifty to go. Yeah. Two tables left. I think I just overheard them talking at the table. Two tables left now. Ah. In tonight's tournament. I think Enright's going to look him up here, see if his queen 10. He wants to see if his queen 10 is any good. I think if Enright was last to act, he would have already done it. I yeah. think in his mind right now, does he want to call with two players behind, but he's going to make the call. The jack plays, shows the queen 10. And Craig, Craig. Profiting 190 there in that pot. Nice hand, good sir. And still donning the hat. The look of Irish. 
He said when he sat down he'd be willing to share the hat if anybody else wanted to wear it during the live stream. Right now he's keeping it to himself. And a shout out to his wife, Nicole. Who's Straddle under the gun takes precedence. Adam, you Straddle. Clarification that. Uh, yeah. Nikki gave the table the uh, straddle. You can straddle either on the button or under the gun, and here at the reserve, under the gun takes precedent. So Buddha gets the chance to uh, straddle rather than it being on the button. Ammo first to uh, act here. Jack seven, and he's been really patient, really has been patient, and just taken uh, a couple of really good sized pots here. Very opportunistic type of player. Raise 30 now. His first time on the live stream, and Dom, I, I've been impressed. And I think we're going to see some more of him, maybe on some of the other nights as well. Call 30. Rose is going to come along here with her pocket sixes. We got a pot of brewing. Here we go. Hear Brian Good saying, call. "Yep, there it is." No, Any callers? Six players now going to the flop Six players. in a variety pack. What do you know? Three aces though involved. A six, including pocket sixes. So we have a four nine five board. MGM Bob hits top pair, top kicker, and a free card. Two of spades. Oh, and now the flush draw comes in for Guppy. Also has a gut shot. 120. 300. Buddha and MGM Bob, same hand. Guppy. The flush draw. And the gut shot. That's always temptation right there. You just think you're due. It, it so is, you and Guppy play. just is not running well here tonight. He decides not to chase that. A raise from MGM Bob of 300 after the bet of 120 from Buddha. So now 180 on Buddha to call. You want to talk about it or no? No. Nope. <laughs> All right, just chuck it. Trying to figure out what the hell you're raising with here. <coughs> Ace three? No, ace three. Colonel, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, we want to ask everybody if they could please hit that like button. We're coming up very close to our power hour. We'd like to see. Oh, when he shows the ace nine, let's see if, and Bob shows the same hand. Yeah. <laughs> and that one will be talked about, folks. Yeah. Bookmark that. Those two will remind each other when they had the same hand. And MGM Bob will remind Buddha probably for the next six months on who won that. <laughs> He's smirking inside so he hard. He sure is. He's just, he so you're, you're, you're saying the over and under is greater than 60 minutes. It's more like six months. Six that months he'll be easy. Bringing that hand up. Yes. Okay. Yes, six months easy. No uh, straddle this time. One of the few hands. The action's really been great. Now the general with Queen Jack, and he is going to raise it up to 15. Jules, 5-4 diamonds. Giving this some consideration. I like that she takes a look to see who's behind her before she's taken this, this gamble. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I did it. Rose. 15 to play. Enright says no thanks. Buddha now, 10 9 of spades, and uh, he doesn't really go on tilt, but you could call this a little bit of a tilt here after that hand between he and MGM Bob. 10, 10 8 of clubs. The shimmy for MGM Bob. 
of the chips got wet. Fifteen hundred. Huh? Some of these chips are wet. Oh. Well, I don't want to comment Turns on that. I'll spend the same. Yeah, Who's tears? Leave it alone, Vic. <laughs> Look at this. Five handed now. <laughs> Five players. Queen, six, deuce, couple of hearts. In general, flopping top pair. You gotta love it when you're the pre-flop aggressor and um, you hit top pair. The goods gives you a warm, fuzzy feeling. Craig hit a piece of this, so he's gonna make the call. I don't blame him. He's just like, you know, I want to play some poker. I didn't drive all this way just to fold the whole time. Peels one card, see if it could improve his hand. King, not ideal, especially with the heart. Well, and this table image for Craig has got to have an impact on the general's actions here. Well, his hand just even got better. And I mean, he, he, gets uh, a flush he checks it right on the turn. So I, I think the general's liking the situation. He likes, but on the other hand, I think, uh, you know, he's deep in thought here about what could he put Craig on. Is that what you said? What kind of hand he can put him on. And a nice bet there from Craig, but a call from the general. Craig with three outs, and that's not one of them. Check her back. Oh, maybe that was the other day. That might have been the other day. You mean there was two guys standing here? No, maybe a thousand, right? He bought twice. Yeah. So he started out with 1,500. 1,500. The general reaching for chips right now. First to act. 135. Ooh, and that puts Craig in a... Tough spot. Kind of takes away his chance of stealing. Only with bottom pair. Yeah. He get, there's Show the flag. Flush one time. Show it one time. All right, everyone. That's my time. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Nikki. You're welcome. Even if I didn't win the hand, I still appreciate you feeling. Thanks. Good luck, y'all. Think so? Mm. And, yep, here we are. It's the power hour. We're going one more hour here on our live stream, and we like to call it the power hour because things happen. The range is opening up. The bet sizes increase. Certain players here being, they might be in a situation where they're stuck and they're trying to make back what they can in this last hour. Of course, we have uh, every indication to think that this game is going to continue to play after we go off the air. <coughs> Speaking of a person that's uh, not having a great night now, suddenly with Ace Jack, and he's going to raise it up to 30, 35. Here comes Guppy. And the general having a good night. goes ahead, He goes ahead and makes the call. Buddha. King four of diamonds. That's this is a power hour call right here. Well, you got a feel for the table by now. We've been playing with them for you multiple say hours. Auto, auto, okay. auto call. Oh, I got it. It's a sound four players. With Bobber. Just like when I said go ahead with the whole beat. Check. 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 Ten deuce four rainbow board. Oh, Guppy, I think missed an opportunity oh, there. Well, Buddha just hit two pairs. Yes. He's going nowhere. Would have liked to seen a continuation bet there from Guppy. And now Buddha's going to bet 100. The casual flick of one chip, but it costs 100. He's getting a grin from the general. Announces that he fold a monster to him. I'm like, can I buy this? Can I buy it? I don't so. Tilted Buddha? <laughs> nah, never a thing, right? Never a thing. I to. According I to Buddha. To According to the Buddha. Yeah, yeah. yeah you call me. Hey, like Buddha. 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 Yeah, you would. Yeah. Thank you. You got even, eh? <laughs> I was even thinking even about even it, though. Even. The gears were turning. All even now. Won't you shut up, Bob? All right, I won't pass. Right. Hold. <laughs> oh, yeah. You remember how it was the other night? Critical. <laughs> <laughs>
Young Patrick now at the controls. Guppy going to raise again here, this time with ace four of hearts. Makes it 25. The general wants to come along. Ace four as well, but this time diamonds for Craig. And another ace, Rose, she lets go of that. The power of Rose compels Things you. getting a little dry there for Bob Enright. Ammo says no thanks, not with the nine deuce. In the meantime, we're going to go four-handed here to the flop. 101 in the pot, young Patrick. Hey, we got an ace, six, queen board, couple of spades. Top pair for both Guppy and Craig. 55. Same hand. Craig with a slight advantage because he gets backdoor diamonds, but nothing to really bank on. Six of spades. Yeah, I was about to say the advantage goes to the aggressor, and absolutely, is gonna when you got a paired board and a yeah. three spades out there, usually the first guy to get the chips in gets the chips right back, and that's what happens in this case. Well, I'll get you an update real soon here on our uh, $10,000 prize pool guarantee out there. Paying top 10. The pot, prize pool pot got up over 14000 with over 5000 going to first place. And they should be uh, pretty close to getting down to that final table. Page now, ace 10 of spades. He's going to make the call. General makes the call. 50. Oh, look at this. Here it is. I like watching Jules operate. Feeling a little bit more comfortable at the table. Mixing it up. <laughs> Buddha giving her a look. But does not look her up. He lets go. Look at the respect. If you don't have a clue what she has, you'll gain respect, right? Yeah. She's playing a wide range of hands. Here's Paige, though, with the ace-10 suited. Looks like he's reaching for calling chips. Yep, he's coming along for the ride. So three players, and we just saw all three of these players in a hand about 20 minutes ago. We got a party. Action's on page. Here it comes. I mean, look at this flop for the general. Open and straight draw on a 4, 8, 9 board. And a continuation bet here from Jules, 110. I like her keeping this pressure up. Page, not a believer. Making the call. Oh. And now we got a pot of Bruin. 500 in the pot. Will Jules put the brakes on here? No. No, she has come here to play. Yes. No limit, if you're going to play with Jules, you're going to pay. Three hundred into a five hundred dollar pot, taking it up to eight hundred. Decision time, tough decision time here for the general. I keep thinking of that insurance commercial every time we say that. The general. Yeah. Oh, wow. Making the call.
and a miss for the general and a check. And she shows. Wow. Jules take it down. And a six hundred and forty dollar profit there for Jules. What's she up to? Is she up to two K? She's up to two K or uh, darn new darn near close to it. And she came in what an hour and a half ago? Yes. So in an hour and a half she's profiting fifteen hundred. Jules tearing it up. Yes. Now you kinda see why how she mixes it up why she goes deep in tournaments. Wide range. Kind of like being invited to a uh, moving party, <laughs> and everybody's uh, taking their time bringing all the boxes out, and a guy shows up late and starts carrying furniture all by himself out to the truck. How do you like that analogy? <laughs> and I've been that guy before. <laughs> and it's usually with a family member. I'm so glad those days are behind me. But, yeah, I have been to many moving, and I'm using air quotes, moving parties. You better be beer and pizza when I'm done. That's all i got to say. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely some uh, nice heavy lifting there by Jules, particularly in that hand. And we move on, $60 in the pot, pre-flop, four players. Page, another suited ace, and he hits top pair. Nothing really for the general to hang his hat on, nor Jules. So there's Paige. Taking down a pot and on, then getting the button. And Levine is sack cycle. Psycho. And, and cycle, cycle calls That's for it. a deuce on the river. Mm -hmm. okay. Already had it straight, right? Mm -hmm. Called for a pair on the board. Crazy. Ten dollar shot. Got just what he just what he asked for. Mm -hmm. The other what about the other hand? And the bot and the bomb pot. He run a, oh he, my yeah! He had no outs. He had to run a runner ace. Yes. He called with ten ace. exactly. Ace, ace or ten? No draw. Yeah, I ace threw an ace no away. Mm -hmm. He turns the no, ace. Well, no, no, no. A ten gives him a straight. He had HK in his hand. Yeah. Was it ten? Yeah. Yep. Called. But I mean, there was big hands out there too. Oh. Rose is going to come in. Queen Jack of ace Diamonds. A couple number. of clubs for Mr. Bob Enright. Yeah. You know what I'm going? I call. Oh. So far, just call, call, call. And it's her. Look at this. <laughs> what a perfect time to pick up Kings right after she comes in with a very weak hand, hits the three. Oh, yeah, just needle the table, Jules. Love and, it. Wow. And she's not messing around here. <laughs> One to a hand. Is Rose thinking about, about taking the plunge with Queen Jack suited? All she all is. Look at Jules this. Going for 345. The ladies definitely gambling tonight. Oh, I was thinking about raising. Me too. Yeah, you let you. I just smell, I smell something. I don't know what it was. Uh, you know, the first liar ain't got a chance. Is you and me, Rose? Two of the toughest. Queens. I don't have them. Not over. Uh, do you have a diamond draw? First Young Patrick gets that pot. Right, gets. Just a, a wee bit more here for Jules to make the call. <laughs> Kings versus Queen Jack of Diamonds. Nice job, Patrick, giving us this great view. Here we go. Giddy up. 730. Yeah. Ten of diamonds in the window with a deuce and a six. And that's going to lock it up. Yeah. Jules on a heater. 2,300 now and counting. Um, Patrick, how do we do this? Good bet. Uh, we let him know. Just let me know. 
And there's the story of a happy wife, happy life. All right, five players here. Quite an array as we this is we would call this a typical power hour. Yeah. Eight three five. Check, check. All spades. He would have got it. The general with the best of it. Top pair with the ten kicker and the ten of spades and the and the only one with a spade. A continuation bet from with Bob Enright who's got a piece of this. Page gets out of the way. Guppy wants to see if he can make up. I don't blame him. Some, yep, yeah, some lost coinage here from a few hours of poker. And a queen. And you know Mr. Enright's going to continue to keep the pressure up. That's the beauty of being that pre-flop aggressor. The ability to represent. But the general. <coughs> Jack of diamonds on the turn. Pair eight still good. And will, will Mr. Enright continue to fire? And he doesn't. He checks it. Go to showdown. Yeah, and the general profiting over 200 on that pot. A sneaky, juicy one. He's had a couple really good uh, live streams with us. Yes, he has. He's been playing actually fantastic poker in this last month on here. I've been really impressed with Brian. There's the updated standards in the tournament. And there's our VPIP. Jules playing 65% since she sat down. She's on a tear. Look at Enright and the general. 50% or higher. MG and Bob at 47. Buddha's higher than normal at 43. Well, and eight of these ten players are above 30%. So we have been seeing just a lot. That says what we've seen, which is a lot of action tonight. Even Paige. Paige is up a lot more than normal at 32. Yes. Normally he's around like 20, 25. So he's been playing a few more hands. Well, the first time he played in the live stream last week in that first couple of hours, I think he was below or right around 10%. Yeah. And definitely I think he's feeling more comfortable uh, yeah, being absolutely. at this table and being at the game. Three-handed going to the flop. Three aces here, one in each hand. And we got a 5-8-7 board of Buddha with an open ender. Even though he has the worst ace, he has the, pretty much the best one to do a semi-bluff. And here he goes. He's going to act now. 75. Oh, don't start that yawning stuff. That's overrated. How close are we to 10? Good to you. 9.19. There's a call from Ammo. He does have the best hand right now. Oh, boy. But Buddha does hit the straight. Look at that. He's going to bet it out. Pretty big bet here. 
Trying to make it look like an overbet. Trying to make it look like he's buying it. Unfortunately for Buddha, Ammo really didn't catch any of this. Buddha gets paid off there. It's a juicy pot there for yeah. Buddha. Yeah. Going to profit 424. And just a continuation uh, on that conversation regarding Paige feeling a little bit more comfortable. Um, we do see this um, time and time again, somebody coming into the live stream. It's a little different. You've got the lights on you. You know you've got the cameras on you. Um, it's a little bit different setting. You're in here uh, all by yourself. And there is an adjustment period to it. But it's one that I think 90% uh, of 95% of the players that we see come in, they become accustomed to it and they enjoy it. And they enjoy going back and watching the play, trying to learn anything that they can about themselves and the other players. And if you want to be a part of uh, one of our cash game live it's streams, easy. it's very easy to just pick up the call, pick up the phone and give us a call here at the reserve. Toledo, Ohio. We do schedule things out a couple weeks in advance. And I encourage you to do so. Let him live, Frank. Let him live, he says, after his straddle. After his restraddle, I should say. And here we go. And we got a deuce jack six board here. And right now, pocket threes. The best made hand still. And the general's going to get a little feeler. Seeing what the situation is. And right. Ten high. He was tempted to make a play there. He was in her battle. Good catch, Buddha. Yeah, I got lucky there. Right yeah. those threes, aren't you? Yeah, got real lucky good catch. catch. Good. You get even now? Jackson. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually a little bit ahead now. All right. Yeah. Not for long. We got it. All right. Well, Let's change it. Right. Right. Well, I'm out of blue. I have, uh, I have right. this. I haven't needed any blue. Small one. I have one hand. Uh, call for record. Yeah, yeah, record. That'll change, Rose. That'll change, Rose. Get in there. There's there's a pot or two coming your way. I know it. I only had two of them. Just hang in there. 20. Ready, 20. Oh. The nemesis here. King Jack, Paige coming along with ace seven of spades. Jules now with pocket deuces. She makes the call. Yeah, just sneaking in there with her pair. We've already seen 50 million sets hit tonight. I could see another one coming, Vic. We could. Just we could. It just seems to be the theme of the night. Sets. Four-handed going to the flop. Queen right in the window. Fought with a four and a ten. A couple of diamonds. The nemesis with an open ender. The top pair for Enright. Said the other night, you need to kind of change your perspective. I'm about to stand out and chair over here. Enright checks, mm -hmm. and MGM Bob bets that open ender. Jules gets her deuces out of the way, and Enright's going to make the call here. <laughs> oh, oh, there's the deuce. Oh, that would have hit Jules. I'll take my chair over here and bring it over here. <laughs> Just goes to show, $75 bet from MGM Bob. 
well invested. Clean, bad one. Yeah, it's a good. And then right, pick it up with the pot. Add it to the chip stack. Nice answer. Thank you, Robert. I wasn't real proud of it. I thought I had one here, but I wasn't going nowhere. No, I know you're not. Oh, I know you're not. I thought I had a, I thought I had a 10 king. I mean, yeah, ace king or ace, king. I mean, ace queen or king queen. He got paid good. Thank God he did. <laughs> 15. Raise 15. Why does he always raise our blinds? He doesn't like us. Uh-oh. Why is he always three back? Guppy now. It's been a tough night for him, but he gets pocket jacks. He's going to raise three bet here to 55. The bet is 55, and MGM Bob has 55. Here we go. Fives versus jacks. MGM Bob to check in the dark. No set this time. With a couple of scare cards there for Guppy. Bob's going to bet. And there's a call from Guppy. Check to showdown. Jax. Much needed pot there for Guppy. He's going to profit $134. <laughs> I can't help. You were right. It was a bad flop for Jackson. It was. You weren't a lion. Ten dollar straddle. Two overs. That's good to know. He didn't have all of it. It would have went. Look like he put half of it in. Ten dollars to go. That seems like chump change now with the action we've seen around the tables. Oh, and Rose picking up kings. Hey, hey, now. Oh. Jesus. Gotta eat this week. Come on. Hey, oh. You teach her that move? You did, didn't you? Come on, Rose, reel them in a little bit more. Yeah. A little bit of an overbet. A little bit. 250, everyone's only in for 10. I think she just wanted to win a hand. She just wanted to be able to win a hand. Oh, my God. She shows the kings. Nobody got a good hand to call. Where's the kings? I would have called them. Get those chips over there. smile because they're telling them where you're from. Oh, there you go. There you go, Rose. At least get the momentum. It's contagious when you start racking in those chips. Rose, one of our favorites. Just one of the sweetest people you'll ever meet. And based on the uh, attire she has on tonight and the treats that she brought in, yeah, she gave it, brought I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Rose wants to wish everybody a happy St. Patrick's Day. Yes. Queens now for MGM Bob, and he's going to raise it up. 40 is the new bet. You didn't see that ace and that queen on the board. I saw my 75. I bet it. I checked in the dark. You can't think I got an ace or a queen? <laughs> he's got a read on you, Bob. You, How about negative? You know my. You know my he's got a read stand, on you. Right? He, he played the player. Oh, MGM with the ladies bumps up to 40 going around the table now. Any callers? Anybody? Yep, Jules with the suited ace is going to come along. Heads up action. And wow, Jules Look flopping this. an open under on the 876 rainbow board. 
I think she was in the pot before. Uh, oh no, I thought I heard some jingling, and I thought maybe she got into the pot before he did. Oh, and now she gets a oh. flush draw, but top set for Bob. Wow, big hand alert, folks. And Jules, I think Min raises him before he even gets his uh, bet in there. Look at this. And the river is. I see it, Bob. Hold it four or five, Bob. Good hold. It looks Blows. like it was a blank for Blows. Jules. Voted on MGM. Oh, he voted. So the board paired on the Yeah, the board paired. Not the card that Jules was looking for. What an action turn, though. A raise and a re raise. Wow. Dig Wow. Dealer change coming in. Everybody's favorite southpaw, Jonathan. Ten dollar bunt straddle. MGM Bob first the X. What'd you have? The losing hand? We'll have to wait and see. Yep. Oh, really? Yeah, 35. Yep. 35 is the bet. Call 35. Oh. 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 Oh, welcome to the table, John. How you doing, Rose? Not good, but oh. I'm here. Oh. Bet is fifty five. One fifty five. Re raise one fifty five. Anthony Hall. He's got a Anthony Hall's got a a different favorite southpaw. Jack nine of spades. Seventeen. Oh. Call seventeen. Rose with a couple of clubs. Oh. Jack seven. Oh. 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 Page waking up with pocket kings. Yeah, and here comes up. the uh, three bet. Yep. 117. Guppy now pocket sixes. You know for sure he was coming along after Jules' raise. Let's see what he does here. Trying to make up some lost ground here. And see if this opens the door for anyone else. I mean, Jules is up close to 2,000. All right, she still gets out of the way. And the same for Enright. Like I said, Jules and Enright up almost around 2,000. Sometimes if you're putting a player on aces or kings, you got a hand like 4-3 suited, you call because you know you're probably getting paid off. 
but everybody else was staying until 10. If you hit. And as you mentioned before, Enright just loves big pots. Yep. So three players now, 388 in the middle. And a five. Wow, set of sixes again. Sixes hit. An open-ended for Enright. What an action flop. Pocket kings, a set of sixes, and an open-ended straight draw. Big hand alert, folks. 200. Got me down with 447. I think he can easily push and get a call here. Just about double what he's already put in there. And he just calls. This is one heck of a hand here. Big hand brewing right here. Sets up. Ace on the turn. Page still reaching for chips. And there's the all in. is going to be drawing the one out. I don't see how he can fold for that price tag. Oh, and he does. And he does. Wow. Knew he was beat. Got out of there. And Guppy, pretty much a full double up, up to, you know, you talk about a player being card dead and how one hand can change the whole yeah. outlook of your night. Now he's up to 1,100. Just like that. Mr. Enright with a raise of 60. Oh, oh. And he's doing that with ace four of spades. Putting the pressure on Page now. Along in a six right in the window, fought with a five and an eight. Enright flopping the ace high flush draw. Also a gut shot straight draw to go along with it. Rose is going to fire out 50. Now we're going to go heads up. heads up. Oh, boy. Check. 
Rose still in the lead with her six, but look at the outs that Enright has here. Yeah. And Enright hits the spade. Ton of outs, and that is one of them. Yeah, let's see if Rose can sniff this out. We got 340. That's probably a card she didn't want to yeah. see. Run, Forrest, nice run. <clears throat> Had him till there, though. Yeah, Enright, get in there. 800 and running, some Please pot. Good night here for uh, Bob Enright. We've got about 20 minutes left here, maybe a little bit less. I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. It really means a lot to us, particularly when you hit that like button, and even more so, please subscribe. And when you do, hit that bell. Yeah. Gives you alerts when we go on live. And we're starting to see the beginnings of a limp pot here. Have we even seen there? I don't think there has been one limp pot tonight. Sometimes, you know, one or two creep in through a four or five hour live stream, but it's got a perfect record of zero limps. Guppy now with the ace three. There it is. 40 to go on the button. Playing his position. Some people just won't let you see a nice quiet flop, will they? Uh, uh, well, it says who? This guy yeah. <laughs> on the river. I know. Yeah. That was on the river. That goes to the Queen Nine. <laughs> I think that's a kettle. Only because yeah. I had enough. Oh, kettle Something black. black. Yeah. Something yeah. around it. Yeah, pot, meat, kettle. I know. You run good, man, I'll tell you. Well, when I go home, I'll see what you had. <laughs> <laughs> there you, you let him know. I've seen the river on that one hand that page folded to you. Mm -hmm. I had an open hand straight there. But I Here we go. Huts up. Go. Guppy, ace three. Uh, General, ten, nine. Seven, deuce, queen, couple of spades. That's the only hand you lost. Guppy's in the lead by virtue of his ace. Get a check there from the general. Let's see if the guppy wants to take a stab at this. He's reaching for chips. Yeah, you stung him. He was, he was rambling early. I wouldn't do that now, but he was rambling early. Yeah, you stung him with that call. I told him, I said, your piece of, I don't know that guy, so he's fucking sure homes. <laughs> uh, four of hearts now on the turn. Brings in the wheel draw for Guppy. Check. Ask him, I told Still him. in the lead with the main yeah, hand. Yeah, he didn't have that much. No, no, I know, but still, I don't know if I could have called there. I thought it was a really good call. I don't, I don't think I would have called with your hand. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't have called with it. When and he, a free I card here. I was stunned. Yeah, me over. too. When you turn over Queen High. Looks like another team. deuce. Bob's definitely the only guy who made that call. You know, Check mark. And the only way uh, the general can take this down <laughs> is to put a good size bet out, 182 in the pot. He sure, he but he's sure going to go ahead and check now, it. Yeah. And I think this well, is going to go to showdown. Huh? He says he's not catching now. No, Guppy's going to take a stab at this, see if he can get a little value, or at the very least, take the I pot down without even having to show his hand. I, I think he's trying to bluff. He doesn't know that Brian's so bad at yeah. 10 high. Yeah, yeah. I think with Ace High, he's trying to get him off in case he's got a seven or maybe sixes or fives with that bet. They said we could see the card, so we have the advantage. But nice play by Guppy in case he was in that situation. I like that he's mixing it up, thinking outside the box. Getting a little bit more aggressive, Vic, have you noticed in the last half hour? Yes. Yeah, but the best one all night. Got a bunch of 10. 
little fat and says, Hey, oh, yeah, yeah. Dog yeah. on me. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hotter, yeah, hotter. Out of four trips to it. Yeah. Hotter and hotter, it makes it six hundred. Yeah, okay. Right. Right. What the speed. What am I going to do? I'm all in. <laughs> Take a five minutes, please. Now you watch the stream, you'll understand. You. It's an old, old movie. <laughs> I'll see. You should come up with some, some sort of oh. award and trophy or something like that. Of like, yeah. Instead of like being, you know, Oscars or something like that. Yeah, yeah, little uh, like a, yeah little like the, the worst, the worst oh. acting, right? Oh yeah, I got that. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-five it is. I didn't see the square wire. I made it thirty-five. Call a quarter. It's only fifteen more. Right? It's only fifteen more. Right? To start the mess, yes. Yep. <laughs> For now. It's only fifteen. Had a call. So I'm going to get froggy. Do some hopping. Okay. Okay. Five players going to the flop. That's coming. One twenty-nine in the middle. And a six right in the window fought with a couple of jacks. General, floppy three of a kind. MGM Bob and Guppy hitting two pair. I like it. A very simple, I'll call. Rose with the Dorothy gets out of the way. Oh. Your heads up. How are you looking? You already know what's down there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, you got to look again. You already know what's down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. And the Comedy Central roast continues here. Are you scared yet, Lop? He should be. 125. Call 25. What? Snap. A snap call here. I mean, yeah, you got a vote. Sure. He's got a vote. I got a vote. Yep. The gig's up. General takes it down. Yeah, nice, nice pot there for the general who's running. Running well here tonight. Oh, you need white? I don't oh, think. No, is that? No, I got, I got a hold of the rack now. Chip count right there for the general? No. He's got 1,100 there in front of him. Thank you. Button straddle. Got a button straddle for 10. It's a crystal, it's a crystal by the way. It's a copper one. No, it's a oh, crystal. Really? Pet petrified dinosaur poop. It's a copper one. <laughs> no, it's a crystal. Mm. What makes it a crystal? I mean, how do you know? Like, how do you know it's not a shiny rock? I rose it up. Oh. It's 10 to euro. I looked it up. It said copper. Rose now. Pocket nines. There's a $10 button straddle on. She's in the big blind. Dinosaur pool. Oh. She's going to raise it up. 55 is the new bet. Hey, nice pair. One of those nines getting pushed in by Bob Enright, getting out of the way with 9 8. <laughs> King 8 for ammo. And Jim Bob. No decision there. 6 2 off suit. Like like you guys are. And another nine there for Jules. But nobody wants to. Call her action here, so she gets to take down another pot here. I mean, Rose made a big raise earlier and showed kings that might scare away her action in the future. Yes. A bit. I definitely will tell Rose today, hey, maybe you don't want to keep showing your cards. Yeah. Just keep it a mystery. Make him, make him get that information by calling. But it's not color. The, the one I got off the Internet is not color. Right. Ammo been pretty quiet here for a while. Now queen nine of hearts coming back in. And there's the nemesis, but it's suited for MGM Bob. 
and he's going to three bet it to 50. Craig, hoping he can get something going here in these last minutes of the live stream. Bob Enright. Never met a party he didn't like. Coming in, 7-4 of hearts. Back over to Ammo, also with two hearts. Queen-9, and he makes the call. 171 in the pot, four players. And here comes the flop. Oh, boy. Deuce-5-3 of spades, and MGM okay. Bob flops okay. it. Okay. Right now, Enright with a gut shot. That's about That's the only player... Is anything on that flop? And there's, yeah, checking it around. Yeah, that's a, there's a straight. No, and right hits right, the straight, yeah, but, but the wrong color. The wrong color. Yeah, when you're holding hearts, you don't want to see four spades. Camo's going to represent. Oh. <coughs> Interesting raise here from MGM Bob. And he's going to show the suited nemesis. Shows the flush. Yeah, Bob, that uh, that did save you some money there, I believe. All right, I flopped them. Very good Watch point. I seen that. That's oh, why I said I'm glad that four spades come up. How'd you like to turn though, Bob? Painted the fucking turn. Yeah, <laughs> man. Painted the turn. Oh, MGM Bob now ten nine offseat. Yeah, Timing, man. These limps now, you're not expecting to see the flop for three dollars. You're just trying to play pot control. Yes. We haven't seen one flop. Go for three bucks the whole night. No. Jules with the same hand, but suited at clubs. Come along for 15. 15 is almost like a limp for this game. And here's Enright. That's been a classic play right there. And he's going to punish the limpers. If you want to play, you pay. better pay to the tune of 111. Quoting a wise man about a week ago or so, this isn't bingo. This is not bingo. Man. Tuesday night will be starting at 6.30 again. Five-hour live stream, 5-5-10, five, five, no limit hold'em cash game, $1,000 to $2,000 buy-in. I was going to say clucking. Is the clucking happen? Did you just hear some clucking? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's coming back. Some power hour clucking. Oh. And actually, we're down to our power minutes. 30. Can I get five minutes for that, Guppy raises it up to 35. Ace 9. Craig looking it up with his ace 3 of spades. Rose coming in with the nemesis. Bob Enright, 8 7. And now we're going to be four handed. And here comes the flop. All clubs. But Rose really with the best of it with the King Jack. And if she wants to uh, narrow the field here, she's going to want to bet it, but she doesn't. Back over to Mr. Enright, who has a club. And he puts a bet out of 30. No. Guppy acting like he wants to see another card, and he does. 
And here we go. Yeah, 234 in the middle. And oh, the boy. Flush Guppy. Wow. Yeah, I like seeing that ace also. Yeah. In one of the cards that come. Only three cards left in the deck that hurt you. He might get some value from Enright, too. It depends. I mean, Enright's 50 50. He plays every player differently. Half the time he'll fold this, half the time he'll call. Situational. And he's going to make the call, so he's a non believer. And another club on the river. Which, if you're Guppy, you might feel even better about your hand, thinking the odds are that he even has a club. Is in doubt, seen five out there. Bet sizing here is pretty important. And I either would have liked to seen a bet a little below that or above that. Oh. Oh. But it doesn't matter. Enright does make the call. Two cards to win. Yep. Yeah, he bet half pot there. Got and look off. at the comeback that Guppy has made within the last hour, hour and ten minutes. It's just a testament why you never should go on tilt. You should stay focused. Because now Guppy is having a monster night when he was literally card dead. Yes. 80% of this live stream getting nothing. And now he's closing in on 2,000 in front of him. And now I believe he's in for about eight, 800. Um, still, uh, but still, I mean, yeah. You can't complain about a four-hour live stream show and you make 1,000. No. Yeah, we're, we got like four minutes left. So as long as nothing, I think I even heard last hand possibly. This is the last hand that will be on the live stream, and after that, then they'll do a bomb pot. Ammo raises it up to 20 with ace queen. Page is going to make the call. General, the general uncharacteristically gets out of the way. And Jules, she loves these little suited cards, doesn't she? Like you said, wide open range. So and the nemesis so again for Rose. Look at this, Rose, both Power elbows point. out. Plowing straight ahead. You know, and this is the bottom. I don't think anyone would think she would lead out with King Jack here. Exactly. Four hundred and twenty. I'll tell you what. Um, I love this play by Ammo. He's ahead right now, but what a dicey play. Yeah. For him because. Rose has been showing kings, nines, everything. This is the one time where uh, she doesn't have it, but it's going to work out. Ammo is going to be a, a favorite here. Rose is live. Both players live. This will be an interesting flop here. 513 in the middle, and we pretty much got a coin flip situation. Good luck to both players. And there is a jack, five, ace, a couple of hearts. Oh, another oh, jack, another jack here, and that check mark is next to her name. And Rose taking it down, 513 now, going her way. Yeah. So, guys, thanks for tuning in tonight, by the way. This is a great show. We saw a lot of action. And like I said, congratulations on uh, what we saw with Guppy grinding yeah. his way through, staying patient the whole time. Then coming at the end of the show just on fire, going from basically around 400 up to 1,800 in a matter of 25, 30 minutes. But we'll be back here on Tuesday night for our 5 5 10 cash game. And, Vic, I'll say we'll get more clarity. Tune in on that. We can talk to the wizard before that. 
before we make any promises. No promises on, on, yet. The, on the whole schedule, but we yeah, will no have promises some yet. tournament play obviously going on next week. We can guarantee next Sunday, a week from the Sunday, yes. we'll have day two. But Absolutely. for the day one events, we're just going to talk to the Wizard, get some confirmation, and we'll give an update on that on Tuesday on our 5 5 10 No Limit. Yeah, absolutely. And as always, particularly with St. Patrick's Day weekend, please, everybody, be safe. Take care, everyone.